Hello, everybody, and hello, hello. welcome hey. to another episode of Battleground Games Live. How's it going? We're live. Yo. Hi, folks, and welcome to the loft at Battleground Games and Hobbies in Abington, Massachusetts, one of three locations for Battleground. We are a uh, card, card, uh, game card. Game card store, card game store. Card game I got store. it. I got there. Yeah. Board game store. Yes. Board and games, miniature card war games, games, miniature games. Yeah. Hobbies. And uh, today we are playing what is effectively a card game, but we think of it as a board game. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, it. You always lay it out the same way. Yeah. So. Yes. And then uh, you have. Like, it would be a board if having a board would be a good way of having these. It's that you have to flip everything on the board, yeah. so. Anyhow, so that's what Battleground is. We have three locations. There's one in Saugus on Route 1. There's one down in Norton. And there's this one here in Abington, Massachusetts. You can hear there is a considerable commotion downstairs. We are having a big magic tournament. Yep. It's our regular Friday Night Magic, but for tonight they're playing for extra prizes. So Ooh. people are excited about that. That's good. Yeah, we're doing standard for double nickel bola, so drew our block nice. of standard players. Nice. Uh, my name is Andrew. Hello, I actually work for Battleground. And our other two regulars here do not work for Battleground. Hey everybody, it's John Toomey. You can find me at the Scrunnel GM Podcast at thescrunnelgmpodcast.com. We're also on iTunes. And... Amanda, hi. I'm often here. And I don't work here, amazingly, but I am sure here a lot. And I, um, I'm hopefully going to be streaming some painting tomorrow. Yep. Okay. Um, just to give folks a quick look at what I've been painting. Oh, do you I've want been to painting... to throw this up on Zoom camera? Yeah, I've been painting John's uh, figures for... Starship Samurai, which um, yeah. I'm really, really pleased with how those are coming out. So these are, this is one of the figures that she's been painting. Yep. They are not too small. They're about palm size. No, they're size. not tiny, but they yeah. are very but they detailed. Have a lot of cool they got a lot of, uh, here's the so, card for him. Oh, sure. Um, so I'm about so this three is quarters of the way done. That's good. I think. Because he's mostly done, I have a yeah. few little details that I need to, to do, like all the spears on his back need some detail work done on them. But he's largely done. I need yeah. to do some highlighting. He's looking fantastic, um, though. But I've got, like, Oda, and so got I've got details. Shingen, and um, I've got a bunch of them are all done. Um, so he's just drying a little bit right now. Out of the completed ones, which one do you like the most? Shingen, 100% oh, hands. Thank you very much down. for the bits. 16 Angry Bears. Thank hey, you. We miss you, Travis. Travis. We miss you. Um, yeah, my favorite at the moment, just because he looks the best. so good, is this guy here. No, oh, okay. He's just, I'm real happy yeah, with how he came out. Yeah, this one is astonishing. He's real, he's uh, real fun. What is the character name? Shingen. 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 That's all, uh, his card. They're all based on legendary samurai. Yeah. Yeah. From the uh, Warring States. So this is Shingen. Um, so Shingen's done. That was Mototada uh, that so I'm working on. So gorgeous. Mori's done. Oda's done. Gozen's done. And Hideyoshi. Well, Gozen's like 95% done. I have to find the right pen to finish her off. Um, and Hideyoshi is done. So that leaves me Masamune and Tamatomo. Yeah. The blue and black and the green hey. and black. <laughs> Thank you for the and bits from Lobster of Revenge. Thank Thanks. you very much. I'm honestly Glad most you could excited join us again. to see what happens with Tomatomo. Because uh, he's the one I played to, with my first game. Which one? That's the green one? The green archer. Yeah, so did you notice his, he, his figure doesn't have these hoses? Oh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, thank yeah, yeah. goodness he yeah. doesn't have those hoses. Those, those would be really annoying to, to paint. Yeah. Um, but I actually think he's going to be a lot of fun yeah. because I have to build up the green and the technique that I used to get those all those little green parts um, worked the way I intended it to work, which is not always the case when I try something like that. Yeah. It was definitely I mean, a, a gamble. Chat up? Okay. Uh, I do. Okay. Yeah. I don't have chat up today, so. I have it. So, so chat. Remember, if you have anything you want us to pay attention to, yes. just throw a bit at yeah, us. Yeah, throw a bit at us as uh, Travis and Lobster of Revenge just did. And Amanda will take a look at the chat to see yes. what's going on. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing that. I'm going to be hopefully painting tomorrow. Yep. Join um, us tomorrow yep. early on the stream, and Amanda yeah. will be doing that. 
but um, uh, tonight. Tonight we are playing. It's time for Chrononauts. Chrononauts. I love this game so much. Hopefully, you guys can see this. I was already looking, uh -huh, Travis. Uh -huh. Ha ha ha. That was a wasted bit. Ha <laughs> I was looking at the chat already. What's Travis already. say? He said, "Made you look." Made you look. So. Just we have decided. Crunch a cookie right into my mic. Yeah. <laughs> we decided last month, after doing all dice games all month, yeah. that this month we would do all time, time travel. travel games. I'm yes. not sure how we came to that conclusion. But... Anachrony. Oh, that's right, because we played Anachrony, which was awesome. Check out the YouTube links below to watch us play Anachrony. I had so much fun with that game. My and goodness. I, it was I can't good. wait to play it again. Yeah. Um, but yes, that is a time travel game, or at least it has a timeline where you can manipulate yeah. it. So we decided for today we were going to play Chrononauts, which is... Apparently they're breaking down the store to, downstairs. Yeah, they're so. moving tables around. They must have stuff going on. Uh, this is a game that Amanda and I, we actually were talking about this last night. We can't remember where we got this. Yeah, no idea. We got it long before we started coming to Battleground. Okay. So, so it's, it's it's made by Looney Labs, yeah. who also put out all the flux and all Shall the Shall I show this games. off on stream? I'm gonna sure. I'm gonna cut to Zoom camera. Amanda's very proud of this. I'm very proud of it. We um, have a signed card by Kristen by Looney. Kristen Looney. Yay! Legit. The the company Looney Labs is run by family called the Looneys. That's oh, I cool. should say uh, before we get too deep into things, uh, thank you to Bloody IX or Bloody Nine. Nice. Who uh, subscribed or not subscribed, but uh, Follow. followed us Sweet. during Thanks. the break after our RPG of the month? Nice. nice. Uh, um, are you so, going to shuffle that in? Yes, I am. Okay. So um, this is specifically an artifact. This is the live woolly mammoth, and it was um, a special card. We got it uh, yeah, as it was part a of a Christmas it, present. Or yeah, Christmas? Looney Labs. Yeah. So um, just a heads up, if you like flux or you have played Chrononauts and enjoy it, or you enjoy watching us play it and are curious about getting it, one, you can get it here. We do have copies if of it. If we can it. find it. Um, it got moved out of the counter, and I don't know where Matt put it. I know, oh, where, no, it I know where it is. Okay, All the good. small games are yeah. in the same place. Okay. Um, so there's an expansion to it. So this is the main, the, the base timeline. There is... There are two extra timelines. Yeah. There's an entire expansion that's a full game that can be played by itself. That's good. And that is the Early America timeline, and that goes from 1770 through 1916. And then this timeline uh, starts here in 1865, but you can put the Early America timeline right above. Oh. If you want to play the big big, big, big game and Combine shuffle the all the stuff together. Um, but you can play Early America on its own. It comes with its own time travelers. It comes with its own action cards and its own artifact cards. It comes with its its own like timeline and ways to affect it. We're not going to play with that tonight. We are also not playing with the other expansion, which is a mini expansion, which is the Gore Years which goes from 2002, no, 2000 to 2008, um, which is so amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know that yeah. one of the years that flips is 2001. Is a, is a, World Trade Center destroyed. Yep. Is Instead one of, of the, the World Trade Center destroyed, you can have Statue of Liberty is destroyed. Uh, hijacking, well, no. Because it's the World Trade Center is destroyed, and that flips to hijackings warded. But then you patch it. You patch 2002 because when one thing doesn't happen, that means a thing that resulted from that thing no longer happens and becomes yeah, a paradox. Yeah, so we'll cover that in a couple of moments. Yeah, how ripples in the timeline work. And then you have to patch those oh, paradoxes yes. with these other things. So yeah, if. The World Trade Center doesn't get destroyed. Actually, then... this is a good. Let's 
let's later put a couple on. of years from the gore years up here. Sure. And I'll demonstrate how the timeline works. So we are we are not playing the gore years mm -hmm. tonight um, because it just complicates things. John has never played before. Uh, no, no, I have not. Andy and I are. Hey, Steve! Thank you for the bits. Ooh, Fifteen thank bits you, Steve. from Stephen. Yes, time travel month. Yes. It's gonna be exciting. So this um, this is the entirety of the Gore Years expansion timeline. There are only five yeah. points on it. Because so I'm just going to demonstrate, and this is important for uh, for John as well yeah. because he has not played this game. This game came out so. in like 2000, and this then a few years the later works. they decided to expand it. Okay. The purple cards in the timeline yep. are linchpin moments. Uh -huh. They are ripple points. And if something happens to a purple card, it affects other years. So, right. for example, 2001, World Trade Center destroyed. Uh, if you reverse this, and there's a couple of different ways to do that reverse. Fate is probably there the most these, popular one. There are these yellow cards that make yeah. things happen. So if you reverse this, you can see it ripples 2002 and 2003. So that gets reversed to hijackings thwarted. And that causes the war continues in Afghanistan and Saddam Hussein captured to become paradoxes. And then somebody needs to get in their hand the patch. So if somebody has if the patch. If they need the timeline to look like that. Yeah. yeah. If they have the Different patch. Different time travelers need the timeline to, to look different ways. They can apply it to a rippled year. So now in 2002 after the hijack is mm. reported, the Statue of Liberty is destroyed. Explosives filled helicopter crashes into landmark statue by uh, Al Qaeda terrorists. Nullified if 2001 is reversed. So then, if this is reversed again, yep, then this goes away and, gets and the timeline goes back to the way that we're used to it being. So if you needed that patch and I get rid of it, tough for you. Uh, so. Because it goes into the discard pile. Each of us is going to have in our hand a, a time, time traveler. traveler. And this is an example from the Gore years. That time traveler has conditions yep. that are required in order for us to win. They always have one blue, which is how we know the timeline, yep. and two orange, which are patches that we have to put out. So every one of them has a different set of conditions. And many of them are directly opposed to each other in terms yeah, of how you need exactly. to affect the timeline. This one is particularly difficult because you need to ripple the World Trade Center to cause 2003 Prime to appear. Yeah. Ooh. And apply this patch, Osama bin Laden captured. Bin Laden. Bin Laden. <laughs> if both mm. year 2000 and 2001 are in their prime state, or the normal state, mm -hmm. this gets reversed and that goes away. But if the World Trade Center is reversed again, that one doesn't automatically flip as long as 2000. So it's a little, okay. it's tricky. Yeah, it's, it's a hard one to, to get to work. Is it called the Gore Years because one of the options is Gore wins? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So in 2000, the prime state, the one we're used to, is George W. Bush wins presidency. If that gets rippled, and that ripples 2003 and 2008, if that gets rippled, Al Gore wins presidency. And then it adjusts things in 2003 and 2008. So that yeah. gives you an idea okay. of how, on a abbreviated timeline that's just the gore years that gives you an idea of how the game works so we're not playing with the gore years we're not playing with either of the expansions that adds to the timeline yeah okay. because we thought one that makes things more complicated in general and two because john has never played we didn't want to add timeline stuff because there's also some things that work into it they're like because this is a new timeline use these cards that don't mention these ones because they didn't exist okay. It just gets a little complicated if you're not used to the game yet. Yeah. Full um, disclosure, Amanda and I have played, played a lot of while. Solitaire, so we're very, very familiar with the timeline here. So we don't often play it competitively. competitively. Mm -hmm. yeah. And John has never played this game? No. Yeah, you've watched us play it like once. Yes. Hey, Aw, Travis. thanks, Travis. Hey, Travis. Um, so, so John is playing it a double disadvantage. Yeah. Because 
He's never played this game, and the and timeline upside is upside down. down. Are you good yeah. at reading upside down? Yeah, I'm fine. Amanda is very good at reading upside down it's because it's part, part of, of my her job. job. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what we're going to be doing is we each get an ID. So there are two modes of playing this game. There's competitive and solitaire slash co-op. Andy and I really like playing solitaire slash co-op. It's like I'm a trying really, to get this so it's not overexposed. It's like a yeah. nice low stress way to play this game. It's just a fun, like you put out the timeline and you have fun trying to get people home. Um, the way that you do solitaire slash co-op is you put out the timeline and then you put no. out eight time travelers. And you have to try and get them all home all of them in home. one run through the, the deck. Yeah. Okay. So if you shuffle a patch back, you're It's stuck. rough, yeah. Um, we are playing with one of the expansions. And the expansion that we're playing with is the Lost Identities expansion. Okay. And that's just because those use the same main timeline. Okay. They, there's only one that does anything really funky. Um, Thank you for the bits. We have a little bit war going on. That's nice. It's always fun. Uh oh, uh oh. Lobster of Revenge is currently in the lead. <laughs> Good job, um, Stephen. Right, right. Uh, Stephen's a little ways behind. Uh, but we're playing with the Lost Identities, um, which not only is a cool expansion because it did add to the number of time travelers you have uh, as options, but they're um, they were written as part of a competition that Looney Labs ran. So they were written by fans of the game. Yeah. So I'm just gonna read the little card that came with it. The, the expansion is basically like a booster pack. Yeah. Um, to use these cards, add them to a Chrononauts deck. You can substitute these IDs for the first set of characters or you can mix them in with the original cast. Uh, the stories on these cards were selected from almost 100 entries to a nano fiction writing contest that was held in the spring of 2001. Mm. We got a lot of great entries that we didn't have room for in the set, but you can still read them all online. Um, I don't know if you still can, but knowing Looney Labs, you, they're, they're probably still up on the site. <laughs> and nano fiction reminds me that Looney Labs are the writers of nano fiction, which, which is, is another a fun great game. card game. Um, so. An important note, if you have Crazy Joe as your um, character. character, he can win when it's not his turn. Okay. Other characters, it has to be their turn, but I'm pretty sure he's the one who needs 13 paradoxes. Yes, so, John, so this in is a normal game, if there point. are too many paradoxes, yes. everybody loses. Oh, okay, so it's semi-cooperative. Well, not really. Not it's really. Just, You're just trying not to trying blow up not the to, timeline. Yeah. If there's okay. too many paradoxes, you have to if patch 13 something. paradoxes, everybody loses because the timeline is broken. But okay. if you're playing Crazy Joe, that's what you want to happen. Okay. And they all have little. Um, so I just handed out personalities, so I'm going to draw one. Is it Crazy I Joe? I drew Crazy Joe. So none of us are playing yeah, Crazy yeah, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you win if at any time there are more than 12 unpatched paradoxes in the timeline. Um, they all have little stories that go with them. So Crazy Joe's is the Tiki Hut at the end of the continuum. Welcome to Crazy Joe's, he said as I walked in. But where else was I going to go? Since the collapse of time space, there's not much left. Uh, TRAHQ is still investigating who could have done such a thing. Give me a Java Hut, Joe. I might be here a while. Boy, this place is busy. <laughs> so yeah, nanofiction. This was like a 50 word uh, story. And every character has one of those. And every character has, you know, Crazy Joe's has a little 13 with the paradox symbol and a little like explanation of why, how he wins. Normally you get the, the years and how you need to set the timeline. The other thing that I'm gonna hand out to each of us and keep this secret that's right, secret, this is secret mission. information. We can't reveal this. Yeah, don't reveal who you are and don't reveal your secret mission. Secret mission is your Ooh. alternate win condition. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Um, your alternate win condition involves a set of cards called artifacts. I'm going to use the early Americas to show off the artifacts. So, in the competitive game, there are a couple of types of card that you don't normally have. You have artifacts, which are objects that you can swipe from the past. 
So like this one is Marie Antoinette's cake. There are time warp cards, which change sort of what's happened in the timeline, and action cards that you can play on someone else, uh, like get there first, steal an artifact. Oops, sorry, I got there before you did. Got that Mona Lisa. Um, or sell an artifact, where you can discard an artifact and draw one. Um, so action cards let you do different things. There's rewind, quick trip to the future, things like that. Uh, I don't think there are gadget cards in the main game. I think gadgets are only in early America. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Um, I could be wrong. We could have gadgets as well, but I'm pr I'm pretty sure there aren't any gadgets in the uh, gadgets are like the super deluxe time machine. Um, um, don't shuffle. Oh. Is that okay? This is all. I early. thought you were. You were I specifically you drew them all. was using early America so that I wouldn't have to worry about shuffling. Thank you. Reshuffling Good those. Card. All right. So how many cards do we each get? We each start with three. Okay. I'm just gonna. So your, your alternate win condition is there so that if I manage to, say, discard the, like, two of the patches you need and you don't have a way to get them back, you have another way that you can win without getting your time traveler back. You may not get home, but you did what you needed for the, like, time uh, associations All right. job so that they've given you. Mm -hmm. um, during our turn, are there any limits to the number of cards we can play or anything like that? Let's look it up. Okay. Let's okay. look it up. Because Annie and I don't play uh, competitive. No, no. We prefer solitaire. Okay. We prefer, prefer cooperative. Hey, hey. Who goes first? Everybody close your eyes. Okay. My eyes are closed. Okay. Your eyes are closed so that you don't accidentally look at a clock or a watch. I'm not looking at anything. Okay. Now think. What time is it? Take okay. a guess. I'm going to say it's 7.41. I'm going to say 7.45. I'm going to say 7.46. Um, find is. out what time it really is. Whoever came closest to being correct goes first. Wow, I'm wrong. <laughs> what? I'm so wrong. What time is it? It's 7.49. Ah, I go first. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> Actually... It is a well-known fact that I have no time sense, yeah. so I shouldn't be surprised that I'm wrong. All right. Once the game is set up and the first player has been identified, players each take a turn until someone wins. Each turn consists of drawing one card from the draw pile, adding it to your hand, and playing a card. Okay. If you can't or don't want to play any of your cards, you must discard one. If you do this, you may also choose to discard a second card and draw one to replace it. This option is called Killing Time. Okay, that's fun. All right. So, I do love the sense of humor that oh man, the Looney yeah. Labs folks have. Um, I mean, anybody who's played the Flux games. Oh, oh okay. my goodness. Learn who you are. Excellent. I'm gonna have Wonderful. To keep okay. To this to okay. Know which cards All right. I need to flip. So, Andy and I are very familiar with this timeline because we yeah. have played this game. So. All right. All right. So, Amanda. Yeah. It's your turn. Cool. Draw one, play one. Draw are the current one. rules. Sorry, I'm so used to Flux. Flux is a lot of fun. One of my friends can't stand it, though. Really? I've played yeah. so much Flux. It's so strange when you... Yeah, it's interesting. I think my favorite is Star Flux. Just because of the puns on the cards, it never deliberately... Or it never specifically references things. Mm -hmm. Everything is just slightly off. Like it's a laser la sword. Laser sword, yeah. Uh, <laughs> is that the same one that has, like, evil and whatnot? And can I mean, cause, it's like, got creepers... It's yeah. got stuff like that. But I mean, right. like, uh, there's like a, like a little pet alien that cut, travels between all players. Is that the version? I don't recall that. That must be Martian Flux. Maybe. Probably. I, I, all I know is um, there's like a captain and whatnot. <laughs> and there's like a mechanic. You know what? I'm going to take a quick trip to the future. Oh, okay. God. Okay. What happens? Um, I scurry into the future to get what I need. Then I come back to this exact moment in time so that no one knows I was gone. Okay. I get to look through the draw pile and choose a card other than a time warp and reshuffle the deck, not including the discard wow, pile and play the card. Wow, that's OP. You get, to, you get to tutor? Yeah. Wow, good what, card. What is a time warp, I'm sorry? Uh, time warp is something that uh, flips a card, I think. Okay. 
Mm. Oh no, I'm sorry. A time warp. A time is a warp card. is a thing that like yeah. lets you oh, play oh, oh. around with time, basically. Okay. Um, whereas like an action card is a thing that I would do. I remember doing the time warp, oh, drinking oh, oh, oh. those oh, moments oh. when. Blackness would be me, and the void would be calling. Let's do the time warp. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Oh god. Okay, she got her card. Yeah, now you have to shuffle it, right? Yeah. G give me, give me just a second. Okay. Cool. 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 Um. Oh, bits. It's just a jump to the left, man, <laughs> and then a step to the right. Put, Put your, your hands, hands on, your, on hips. your hips. Um, I am playing an action, new mission. Wait, can you do an action on the Happy same turn you've done another it thing? It says, choose a card, reshuffle the deck, and play the card. Okay, oh, okay. cool, cool. It tells me to play it. Okay, Sweet. fair enough. Um, swap your secret mission with someone else's, or discard it and draw a new one. Well, here's my mission, and that's Andy's mission. Yeah, do you, are you trading with one of us? Do you want mission? I'm just going to draw a new one. Okay, because right. then we would know what your mission was if exactly. you took one of our missions. Exactly. You just don't like your mission? I feel like Yeah, I just don't like good, uh, you I feel know like what? that's a good late game card. Hmm. I feel like that I'm That would be mean. Yeah, I'm going to just discard that one. I had Mona and the Dinosaur. Oh, you have to get Mona Lisa, Shakespeare's last play and a dinosaur. But it's not just Mona Lisa. I have to get whatever the most convincing Mona Lisa in play is. Oh, there are there are, Mona Lisa. there are three Mona, Mona Lisa's. Lisa's. Yeah. There's a good forgery and a bad forgery. <laughs> All right. All right, she uh, likes her new mission. Sure, sure, I'll take that mission, I'll take right. that. I believe it is now John's turn. Are we going clockwise or are we going Wittershins? So... Wittershins. We looked up, I can never remember, we looked up the word for, for clockwise. clockwise. Yeah, from before there were clocks. And I can never remember what it is. Well, Wittershins, Wittershins is counter. Anti-clockwise. I've never heard that term before, I think. You, you don't know enough witchcraft. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't read enough British Geosil. fantasies. Diosil. You're so good. Okay, do I yes. draw? Yes. Okay. Yeah, draw a card. Draw, draw one, play one. Okay. Uh, no, no. So you okay. can kill time by discarding two cards and drawing another card. I could, but I kind of like this. Let me see. What is my mission again? Or my character? So sorry, everybody. I haven't played before. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, I'm going to be looking at my character constantly because I'm like, what years do I need to flip? I, I will discard I two cards. Cool. And okay. draw one. Okay. Yep. I killed some time. Your turn. Okay. Uh, so I could have a card. I draw a card. Thank you very much. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. What is an uber paradox? The Uber Paradox, I believe, okay. is is that the one that creates World War Three? Oh, what? There's World War Three? Because yeah. the Uber Paradox um, blows up the rest of the timeline. Oh, okay. Um, is that the Cuban Missile Crisis? Is that what's the one that blows up the rest of the timeline? Is it Manhattan yeah. Project? No. There, and maybe, no, no, it's like. There is a way to you know cause what? World War Three, and it just I ripples think it's, everything from like 57. Yeah, on, it's basically Cuban from, missile, it's the Cuban, Cuban missile, missile Crisis. It's the patch for the Cuban okay. Missile Crisis is World War Three, and basically nothing exists beyond that point. Uh, okay. There are two intelligent cockroaches and they both want in to the get IDs. To, yeah. And they want World War Three okay. to happen. But there are a couple of other cards that reference it Got within it. the deck. All right, I'm going to just play an artifact. I'm going to play a live Stegosaurus. Are there dead Stegosaurus? His name is Steggy. Okay. Well, it, it says it on the card. I yeah, know, but his name is Steggy. Can Recovered be... from 151 million BC. Can there be dead Stegosaurus? Possibly. I don't oh, recall. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I never even turned the lights on myself. So that was my turn. And now it's Amanda's turn again. Okay. All right. So draw one. Okay, I'm, I'm just looking at a card okay. that I have in my hand for a second. So uh, wow. these are okay. like the keepers in Flux. Okay. That you keep in front of you. People can steal them and stuff. With the right cards. With the right cards. 
Yeah, well, Andy. Yeah. I want your dinosaur. Get there first. Got that dinosaur before oh, you. So you mine you now. went back in time yeah. to before I went back in time and stole that dinosaur. My yep. Turn. Bits. Bits. For John's turn. Okay. With sun and against the sun. That makes sense. Yeah. I will play. Wither and Diosil. Yeah. The cure for cancer from the future. From the future. Oh, sounds handy. It does uh, sound handy. In e uh, easy to swallow tablet form. Your turn. Okay. So cool. you have the cure for cancer. And you have a Stegosaurus. I have a Stegosaurus named Steggy. All right, my turn. If I can have a card, please. Okay. Um, I'm going to, well, you, Amanda messed with what I was going to do. Sorry. Because it's okay. Stegosaurus. Um, I'm going to do a time warp. Oh Fast God. forward. Immediately draw two more cards, put them into your hand, and play two cards. Ooh! Here you so go. I don't have to play the two that I drew. Uh, the Ooh. flavor text is, or no, it says, Note, killing time, discarding an extra card, and drawing replacement is a valid option anytime you choose to discard a card instead of playing it. So I guess I could discard two yeah. cards instead oh, yeah. of playing two cards. That's interesting. Um, But I am going to play two artifacts. Okay. I'm going to play Mona, Mona Lisa. Lisa, the real thing, the real recovered from thing. August 21st, 1911. And I'm going to play Shakespeare's last play, Mona and the Dragon. Newly discovered Shakespearean mans manuscript, actually written by a time See? rescue playwright yeah. <laughs> 600 years after no his own death. No way did I want to swap, he would have been golden. He would have been, that would have been it. Yeah, you would have won if you had traded. And that. there are two more dinosaurs. That, actually, there are three, because there's the woolly mammoth card that is counts that the as a dino. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is your turn. Uh, yes, it is Amanda's turn now. Okay. Can you switch the lights? Oh, yes, switch I can. Switch the lights. I drew one. And you get to play one, I think. I do get to play one. So I think, John, you're getting the hang of yeah, at least yeah. how the, yeah. the hands work. Nobody has done anything to the timeline yet. We're all just doing artifacts. I had I had no yellow cards in my hand until now. Okay. So, um, what? Uh, how many paradoxes caused the end game? Thirteen. Thirteen. Which is quite a lot. Yep. That would mean that everybody's been flipping stuff and nobody's been patching stuff. Um, I'm gonna discard and draw, right? So you, yep. You discard. If you discard two, you draw one. I think if yeah, you, you discard, you don't card. draw. You gotta discard. Okay. Because okay, you should have okay, three cards right. in your hand unless you've done something that reduces your hand all right, size. All right. All right. Okay. There. Okay. Performing a miracle is a hard card. Wasn't it? Wait a second. Because I thought it was. All right. Let's pause the game. Hold on. Pause. While Amanda consults the instructions. Yes. Okay, cool, yeah. That works. Yeah, yep. so you discard one card yep. as your action or discard two and draw one card. All right, okay. now it is John's turn. Did you already drew? Yes. Sports Almanac. Go. Ooh. Okay. So John has a Sports Almanac and the cure for cancer. Yes. Okay. It is your turn. Uh, from, oh. Uh, complete statistics stored by date. Discovered uh, 2051 AD. Okay. Eh. So technically the future. It is actually. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Uh, I will draw a card, please. And. There's no Oh. Can I look at the discard pile? Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. I think that's public information. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 
I am going to reverse fate. Oh god. No. Whose fate is reversed? Um I am going to invert Titanic sinks in 1912. So it becomes... Titanic avoids disaster. 1929 flips? Yep. Right. So 1929 flips. The stock market no longer crashes. And the Great Depression no longer happens. Yep. Oh, wait. Read the Great... Flip it over again. Oh. Uh, uh, it, it, is it an inverts. and or an or? And. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, so you, you actually need to, need to do two do, things. Okay. Uh, need to also do Lusitania in order to ha reverse the Great Depression. Got it. Uh, so, okay. That is my move. And it is Amanda's turn now. Sure. And we have one Paradox on the board. 13 to go. 12 to go. Well, These don't count winning. towards Paradox, right? Right. Right. And there is cute text on all the cards, too. Yeah. The flavor. All right. I, I'm going to play an artifact. Uh -huh. A videotape of the creation of the universe. Ooh. Um, it's on Betamax. And okay. it says on the tape, contents the first day. And then on the front of, on like the spine, don't erase. Nah. Which I do vividly remember writing on video cassettes. That's fun. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, this is a fun one. So we've all got two artifacts already. We do. I yep. need to consult the ID real quick. Uh, and the thing is, so Andy and I know the timeline really well, and we know the patches, and we know like all the yellow cards really well. But don't I don't know them. the missions yeah. that well, so like I don't know if they're like what Andy's aiming for, and I, or if they're even aiming for something, or yeah. putting things down to have them to play with. That makes sense. Uh, so I'm just gonna put Mona and the dinosaur at the bottom uh, of the mission pile. Prevent an assassination attempt. Aha! Who are you going to prevent an assassination of? That is a very good well, question. Well, that can flip Abraham Lincoln or yep. Kennedy. Or, um, or re it can flip, actually, uh, you're preventing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It can also flip John Lennon. Yes. It can, un it can um, unflip Hitler as yes. well. Like if someone has assassinated Hitler, yep. you can unassassinate Hitler. Though why would you want so to? I have unassassinated Honestly. Abe Lincoln. All right. Paradoxing. Oh. Um, so that also paradoxes down here if JFK is also saved. Okay. Yeah. Somehow Nixon doesn't resign if, you know, we prevented that. Yeah. It all kind of makes sense. Yeah. All right, yeah. so my So turn. Andy and I were talking about this um, last night, that it seems like a very limited timeline. One, it's fairly American-centric. Yeah. A lot, especially in the later stuff. Um, on the other hand, just looking at the early America timeline, it's another four rows of cards. And that's pretty wild. Just, it would be very easy for this game to balloon into something. And you couldn't just expand the timeline. You would have to expand the people. Like, yeah. it wouldn't make sense to add more to the timeline and have no one need those extra things in the timeline. Yeah. The game could get so much bigger by adding to it and so much harder to deal with. And you would basically end up with what I was saying. You would end up with Twi Twilight Struggle <laughs> yeah. at that point. Man, the um, Twilight Struggle video isn't up on YouTube because I still need to fix the auto audio on that. Okay. All right. But we're, we'll I was have wondering that about that. I didn't know if there's something there. wrong. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm going to fast forward again. Oh, Which geez. is immediately draw two cards, put them in your hand, Man. and then play two cards. I haven't gotten any wormholes yet. This stinks. All right, all right. Um, I'm going to. Okay. Um, hang on to that. So I have to play two cards. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to um, sell an artifact. 
Oh, okay. Discard an artifact in front of me and draw a card. So I'm selling the Mona Lisa. Oh, God. The real one. You sold the real Mona Lisa. Someone and wants it, I'm sure. Then I'm going to play a new artifact. Mona Lisa, an obvious forgery. Okay. This is the one that has a mustache on. Yeah. yeah, there's there's the good forgery and she's winking. Okay. Can be passed off as the real thing if others are in play. If no others are in play. So like that first mission I had was the most convincing one in play. So you would need the real one if he had that out already. Right. Um, the other thing, there is a mission that requires all three Mona Lisas. Well, I hope that person's not got that mission. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of Thank my turn. For Thanks for the bits. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Amanda. Hi. Oh, wait, you can play two cards, right? I did play two cards. I played uh, an sell an artifact and, and I played, played a new oh, artifact. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I do still have an extra card in my hand now because uh, when I sold the artifact, it let me draw a card without playing one. Got yep. it. So my hand size is now four. Okay. I know, cheating. It is. There's actually a, like, if you have more than 10 cards in your hand, you win condition. Oh, I didn't but know that. But that's really hard to do. So, okay, yeah, so that, there's a that. third win con. Yeah, but. Just have so many cards in your hand. It's, um. Let me see. Is that a mission or is that. So it's how to win. There's mission, ID, and then hand size. You have 10 cards in your hand, not counting your ID or mission, at the end of your turn. So it's end of your turn. It's right, not I've drawn up to 10. Wow. Yeah. In other words, if you have nine cards in your hand at the beginning of your turn, you don't win just by drawing a card. You must gain a card by patching a paradox or selling an artifact in order to win. You get cards for patching a paradox? I didn't know that. What? Excellent. What? Things that we learn the as we're playing. Things we learn. Um, we would have totally gear. missed that rule. I'm glad we're playing this. I'm glad we're playing this competitively because it's good to yeah, actually learn yeah. the rules. Yep. After years and years and years I'm of so playing good. single player. <laughs> it doesn't say that anywhere though. Maybe it's specified on certain patches. <laughs> No, the patches don't say anything about drawing a card. It says patch. Think. Patches are used to repair paradoxes. Patches can only be played onto their corresponding spaces in the timeline. To patch a year, uh, simply place the patch card over the appropriate paradox. You then, oh, you then get to draw a bonus card. Okay, cool. So that well, increases cool. your hand size by patching. Yeah. Good to know. Hmm. Good you know, that would make know. the solitaire game a lot easier. Because um, every time you patch, because having only three cards in hand is very limiting, you yeah. end up discarding a lot just to draw. Yeah. But if you're drawing a card every time you patch, because you're patching a lot to get eight yeah. home. Cool. Learning new things. Yay. All right. My turn? Um, yes, I yes, believe it is. is still your turn. Cool. This you already drew a card because you have corner? four in your hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about... Um, yes. The symbol in the top corner reminds me of the bit symbol. Yeah. 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 All um, right. Looney Labs does a thing with pyramids. Okay. Uh, yeah. They, they manufacture little plastic pyramids and have a whole bunch of different ways to play with them. I didn't get there first. Which uh -oh. one do you need? They all look so good, but I think I want that sports almanac from the future. There you go. All right. She got there first. I did. I got there first. It's your turn. John's turn. Go. So I play it like this. Yep. Lincoln's been now you get a bonus. Uh, president escapes conviction and removed from office by one vote. Yep. So does this flip this back? No. Nope. It stays. Oh. It's if nullified back, if we flip this back. Oh, okay. So now Lincoln was wounded and then got impeached, but stayed in office, but got impeached. Got it. Um, so it sort of says, this didn't happen. Now this happened instead of something else. Gotcha. Andy. All right. Switch the lights. Oh, okay. Beautiful. I'll do Bye. that. Hmm. I'm going to reverse fate. Oh, are you? I am. What are you doing? 
Uh, I am going to invert. Jeez, I have to look and see. Uh, I'm going to reverse 1936. Okay. Hitler opens the 36 Olympics. Oh he my was God. assassinated I killed instead. killed Adolf Hitler. He killed Read Hitler. Read the text. Read the text. Uh, What's it say? Berlin. Berlin Olympics marred by sniper attack on host nation's leader. Wow. I always so enjoy killing Hitler. A whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, it does. Sorry. Is there any more? So when Andy and I play solitaire, yeah. um, we and D Day doesn't get flipped unless we also flip uh, Pearl Harbor. Right, Pearl Harbor. Um, Andy and I always enjoy, even if none of our time travelers need Hitler to die, we enjoy killing Hitler. Anyway. Mm -hmm. It's a thing you do cool. when you're yeah. playing time travel. We like games. that, and we like trying to maneuver for world peace in 1945. Um, which is really hard to do because you need to have a whole bunch of things flipped. Anyhow, that was my turn. And now it is Amanda's turn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I am going to... Oh, boy. I'm going to get there first. Oh, man. Just had a bunch of these. <laughs> I think I want Shakespeare's last play. I am going to memo from my future self, play at any time no. to cancel a card as it's being played. Oh, well. Okay. So that just goes in the discard pile. Poops. Okay. I don't get that play. My turn? Yes, it is John's turn. Turn. Thank you. Never can get those wings. <laughs> I love the, the machinations implied here, that I had a note that I read from my future self saying, she's going to try and steal your yeah. artifact. Shakespeare play, yeah. Uh, I got there first. Steal oh, no. Artifact. Go back in time just before the moment you were the opponent. What are you taking? I would like that dinosaur. Fine. Steggy the Stegosaurus. He has been everywhere, hasn't yeah. he? He's been passed People around. People just keep going back further and yeah. further and stealing him when he's younger and younger. Gotcha. My turn. Um, if I could have a card, please. Of course. I'm going to apply a patch. Are you? To 1939. Here goes Love German Cake. Here goes Love German Cake. Andy, here, have a bonus card. Yes. One of our favorite cards, just because it's so nonsensical and funny. So now instead of... Uh, Germany, Germany invading, invading Poland. Poland and because World Hitler was assassinated... Now we the have the German World Fair. Fairgoers have That's German cake. Yeah, Black Forest cake served at Germany, the Germany Pavilion in the, at the New York World Fair. Everyone loves it. It's nice. delicious. Sweet. I love this game so much. It's pretty nice. Yeah, Fairgoers uh, love German cake. It's definitely turn. one of our One of the criticisms of I heard with Flux is it's too open-ended, but this one that feels more structured. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to patch 1948, and Berlin is going to host the World's Fair in 48. Okay. Which means I get a bonus card. Okay, it's my turn. It is your turn. Like. Uh, draw. Like. Oh, sorry. Yep. I'm going to. Someday we'll have an actual engineer who will Did run the lights and cameras to draw for a card? us. Yeah. And I believe I win. <gasps> oh, what? What? Yeah. You uh, win. Abraham Lincoln's been impeached. <gasps> Berlin hosts the World's Fair, and Nixon resigns. I made you win! Yeah, Amanda. <laughs> you patched him into a win. I did. Sweet. I just needed a patch for a spare card, so and it was the one that I happened to have. My uh, mission was future sports almanac, either Mona Lisa forgery and Shakespeare's last play, so I needed that almanac, okay. uh, but I wasn't getting anything that let me steal. steal stuff. I had the most toys. I had to get six artifacts. Uh, wow, that sounds hard. Which is why I was trying to steal them steal from you guys. Well, yeah, but I wasn't going to let you steal my forgery or my sport. I had my uh, tomorrow's newspaper today uh, and I was hoping, so I had at least three that I was going to yeah. be able to have and I was yeah, hoping to Yeah, I was just messing with more. the timeline for fun. Yeah. Uh, I had Angela who needs uh, Wilson to keep the US, or the Titanic to explode, okay. which is what happens if the Titanic doesn't sink. Uh -huh. You can patch 1929 to the Titanic explodes. Oh my god. See what uh, I mean about how it can be fast? Yeah. I need, yeah. uh, instead of the U.S. declares war on Germany, Wilson keeps the U.S. out of war in 1917. So you were directly opposed to me. And I need uh, bombs dropped on Japan. Okay. 
uh, which was still it was like 1945. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. So I needed 1917 to be uh, U.S. declaring war on Germany. Okay. But then I needed the Titanic to explode in 1929, but oh. I never got the card for it. And I needed Berlin to host the World's Fair. Mm. So yeah. Uh, my secret mission, by the way, was I had to fulfill a scientist's uh, wish list. Oh, so, so you need needed the dinosaur, the cure for cancer. And the crown of Christ. Yeah, the crown of thorns. Yeah. It's in there. I didn't have it. No, nope, yeah. I didn't have it. That was so, fun. yeah, that was fast. Oh, I want to yeah. read uh, Angela's story. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll read our stories. I had tracked an elusive criminal to an abandoned mill. After a brief struggle, I, caught this ma I had caught this masked woman. But under the mask was me, five years later. My duty was to uphold the time stream. So I put my older self in prison and went on a five-year crime spree. Okay. Uh, uh, Renee, 2.11 a.m., April 15, 1912. The time traveler stood on the tilting deck of the Titanic. At last we know what really happened this night, she said quietly, while waiting for the automatic return cycle to engage. But the accounts were wrong. The great ship sank nine minutes early. 200 years in the future, the Titanic claims an extra victim. Oh, oh nice. I like that. I like that story. Uh, even time travelers cannot change everything for Walter. Time travel was introduced uh, during the 1948 World Fair, and within 20 years, minor additions of the times, uh, minor edits to the time stream had been commonplace. Yeah. Anyway. So, we'll put these on the bottom and we'll do new ones. Sure. So, when Nixon faced having to resign uh, in the face of Watergate, he dispatched one of his aides to undo the incident. Unfortunately, it turned out the, uh, the alternative to Nixon resigning was Nixon resigning. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, mission. Uh, put the mission on Push the bottom. Put them on the bottom. Do new ones. Got it. Because we definitely have time for another game. That was, yeah. fast. that was fast. Like I said, John had asked earlier, how long does this game take? And it was like, it, it can go really fast. It depends on what happens in the deck. Yeah. Yeah, adjusting the timeline requires drawing a lot to get yes. the right patches. Yeah. So I feel like that might be the longer way to play. Yeah. The long way to play is getting 10 cards So in John hand. won. Shall John go first this sure. time? Sure. Okay. Oh, new IDs. Oh, new IDs. Who am I this time? New missions. What do I get? Okay. All right. Cool. Interesting. Okay. What's my new goal? My new mission? Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, huh. draw. Well, yep. that's sure a thing. I will play this Crown of Thorns. Nice. Uh, so uh, That was fast. Uh, originally worn by you-know-who. Uh, recovered from Easter, 33 <laughs> AD. <laughs> yeah, right. the, the loonies do have a good sense of humor. All right, pack it up card? Yes, of course. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. All right. I'm just for the fun of things. I'm going to assassinate Hitler again. Cool. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. So Hitler has been killed. A little, little bit of uh, Hitler killing. Bam. Bam. Is that oh, an and? That's an and. No. That's or. Three it's an ors. or. Oh, okay. Any three of these will do it. And then it's restored if all three of them. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And then. All right. We've got some paradoxes. And it's yep. Amanda's turn. Crazy. So I feel like this could easily be used in history classes as long as people remember what the timeline we actually live in is. Yeah. I mean, some of this stuff is within my lifetime. Like, uh, the entire bottom timeline, or the bottom row is it within my lifetime. Nixon resigns, John Lennon murdered, Reagan wounded, I remember that. Uh, Challenger explodes, I definitely remember that. Soviet Union collapses, yeah. 
Waco compound burns to the ground. Oklahoma City um, bombing. I'm going to oh. halt the attack on the Lusitania. Yeah. So that flips this. So that's yep. halt attack. It's one of the ones that only it's a targeted, inverts a couple yeah. of things. Uh, and is this isn't paradoxed yet because I need to paradox both the Titanic and the Lusitania. Okay. Uh, John. Drop. Uh, All right, I'm going to perform a miracle. <gasps> oh, wow. It's a, a miracle. miracle. What happens? Discard one artifact face up in front of you. Then, setting your hand aside, draw two cards, play one card, and discard one. But if I discard a holy relic, such as the Crown of Thorns, Ark of Covenant, or you get to do wisdom, more. I draw three, play two, and discard one. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So draw I had three. a card like that that involved oh, don't future get mixed knowledge. Up with your hand. Oh, all right. Bam. Sorry. Yep. Um, that involved future knowledge. So yeah. if I had the, um, yeah. if I did that same action, yeah. but with the newspaper, the sports almanac, and there's like one other, then I, it's the same thing, but it's uh, three good. different artifacts. So you play two and discard one. Rewind. Uh, anyone may look through the discard pile at any time, but I get to look through it and take any card and play it. So he gets it back. <laughs> All right. There you go. And my last card, I don't think I can play either of these. I don't think. Yeah, I can't play either of these because they're both patches. All right, so I think then you can discard two to draw one by killing time. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll discard both of these and draw one. Yeah. All right. Well, that was interesting. So yeah. Miracles yeah. happen. Uh, I'm not doing anything quite so cool, but I am bringing about world peace in 1945. World peace. Oh my God. This is one of three different patches for, or one of two different patches you for 1945. You can't bring about world peace yet. Why not? You need oh. Playable only if Hitler oh. and Pearl Harbor Darn are flipped. It. That's why I said that one's hard, because you have to have both of those. World peace. I wanted world peace. I know. I well, I'm going to play a live woolly mammoth. His I name is Harry. Oh, that's cool. Harsher sentences Counts for Counts as any live violators. dinosaur or woolly mammoth stand. And world peace. Signed by Kristen Looney. No one gets that guy. joke. Oh, I didn't draw a card. Maybe I don't want to sign and do that. It's the wrong crowd for me to be quoting Miss Congeniality. I'm sorry. No, I, I would have got it if I had been paying any attention to you. I'm sorry, uh, I wasn't. I, I probably wouldn't have. I'll be uh, honest. April 25th. Uh, it's yeah, not the too hot. Date. Not too cold. Just need a light jacket. All right, Amanda. Yeah. What we got? Goodness. Um. I'm gonna kill some time. Okay. Uh, discard those and draw a card. All right, John. Video the thing tape, I've always been able to uh, do. Videotape of uh, the creation of the universe. Okay, you've got Andy, that now. You are up. I am up. I'm going to take Just a quick trip the into the future. Uh, Amanda, can I look Thank at the draw you for pile? The bit. The yes. draw pile? Yes. You got the look oh, at the you got the quick card. trip to the future. Yeah, such a I'm good card. Tutoring. It is yeah. so good. It's super OP. It really is. It's pretty good. Um, Okay. Oh boy. So I'm just gonna draw a reverse fate. I feel like you may be aiming to just get as many paradoxes as possible. As one of your I'm going to don't want that. reverse Pearl Harbor bombed. All right. So, so now, now you can patch World Peace if you would like. Well, I, on my next turn, if yeah. you guys don't next turn. undo things. Okay. Uh, did I draw? Why do I have only two cards left in my hand? Uh, I thought you drew. Oh, well. Whatever. I'm fine. Uh, oh, did you, did you pa draw a card when you patched? I didn't patch. He didn't patch, he flipped. 
I don't think anyone's patched anything yet. I'm down to two cards, but I may have just messed up. I don't care. Okay. Do I want to do this? Oh, Are God. you doing something awful? <laughs> don't. Can you restore history? Oh, you're going to rewind time? Man, I love time travel. Time travel is a so great much fun. All right. Oh. No, I don't want anything out of there. Um, I'm going to play an action card. Okay. We're going to play um, discontinuity. All players pass their hands to the players next to them. Ooh. I get to decide if the cards go left or right. Oh. So which way? So, um, Remember, I've only got yeah, two I don't cards want Andy's left. two cards. I, I want four. John's hand. Andy can have my John, three. Sorry, I'm sorry. John. I, I'm that's obviously fine. messed up at some point. Uh, but that's the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn, yeah. Now you have four cards. John. I will draw. Help uh, me. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, it's, my God. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I want to do this? <laughs> I don't think Do I you? Can. Um, Do you? Well, I can make world peace. <gasps> Yay! World peace! World peace! So, no, I like this timeline. Alright, so I draw. Yeah, if Hitler or bombs get reversed, and then it goes back to Yeah. yeah. Your turn. Alright, so I'm going to prevent an assassination. I'm yeah, gonna... Wait, why is it her turn? No, no, it's oh, Andy's turn. Say your turn. Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't reverse the order I'm not, of play. I'm not, rever I'm not uh, going to prevent an assassination yet. Um, I mean, what? I would never prevent an assassination. You would never save a human being? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and perform a miracle. Oh, my so God. I'm discarding no, this woolly mammoth. The <laughs> draw two and play one. How could so you? Draw two, play one, discard one. That poor man. That poor elephant. Um, oh, I, I can't even remember what my mission is. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to time warp. Where are you going? I'm All right, going what are we doing? I'm going to draw a card from the discard pile and play it. You want the holy mouth back? Uh, you net so much. With that card. Are I'm going to reverse. reverse fate. Alright. What fate um, are you going to reverse? Hang on. Thank you for the bits. This is definitely so much fun. Yeah. yeah I'm going to reverse fate. Um, and I'm going to cause the Titanic not to sink again. All right, so that flips 33 that. or 29 and that. 33 if both that and the this. Lusitania. Yeah, which yeah. they are. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's my move. So just to be sure, yeah. paradoxes oh, don't count if they're patched, right? I, I was paradoxes don't patched, right. I'm yeah. sorry. If they're patched, you're okay. I'm sorry? Lost Server Gun said, poor Harry. Poor Harry. Oh, because of the, that Harry is the uh, woolly mammoth that I sacrificed uh, that's to, right. to perform Sentin my miracle. Sorry, Where do you I throw missed it? that his name was. Do you like throw it into a portal and then it just disappears? I, <laughs> I assume, yeah. All right, now it's my turn, right? Yes, yes. now it is definitely your turn. I'm going to prevent an assassination. <laughs> okay, right. who's not getting assassinated? Archduke Ferdinand. Congratulations. Yeah, we've and, got uh, a few paradoxes out there. We have eight right now. Draw. Huh. Huh. Well. What you gonna do? Oh no. Uh, I'm gonna reverse fate, I guess. Sure. What are you reversing? Well. Well, that, I'm gonna go over here with oh, that. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> We're friend Hitler's. Oh. No. World peace. What? I'm done. Everything must go back to how it was. Nothing. Oh, no, this doesn't flip. Yes, it does. No, because this is still there. Yeah, it's just that oh, it this just goes gets rid away. of world peace. But this yeah, doesn't unparadox. Right. Yeah, right. we lose uh, that patch, but we don't lose the, well, the paradox. So much for world peace. Well, you can get another. Sorry, hook. world. You can get another. Uh, uh, I'm gonna patch the Titanic. Titanic explodes again, and I oh, um, I draw two cards because I didn't draw my. I keep forgetting oh, to draw you my card. Oh, forget drawing cards, do you? Okay. Your turn. My turn. Yep, Amanda's turn. 
I'm going to patch 1918. Okay. The European economy is booming. Okay. And uh, I get to draw a bonus card. Okay, my go. Okay, I'm going to play a beautiful Stegosaurus. Aw, Steggy. Oh, His name is Steggy. Okay, uh, this time I am going to draw a card on my turn. Good for you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to play a Rongo Rongo tablet. What is a recovered Rongo? Recovered from 1865. Uh, historical records of Easter Island, written in the lost language of Rongo Rongo on wooden planks that were burned by missionaries. That's uh, it's a little depressing. Yeah. So, well, no, I mean, now they're not burned by missionaries. That's true. We saved yeah, them. We saved, saved them. It. Amanda. Hi. No one's played many artifacts except me. Yeah, you've got some uh, artifacts going. I'm just enjoying messing with the timeline. I'm I mean, sure same. Sure you do. I'm going to... Oh, God. It's happening. Um, I'm going to grab the cure for cancer in easy-to-swallow pill f tablet form. Good for you. Yep. I'm going to do I recovered it from the future. Uh, I play the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, Currently sealed up in a big wooden crate, <laughs> recovered from uh, 587 BC, and I win again. Oh! Uh, Articles of Fate. Yeah, you got the relig all the religious ones. Yeah. I should have, oh man, I should have swapped. So what did it need? Um, the, the missions, missions with you last turn. <laughs> no, no, instead. What, what did you need? Uh, Crown of Thorns, the videotape, and Ark of the Covenant. You needed the videotape of the creation of the universe. Yeah. So yeah. I needed. The Ark of Covenant, the Rongo Rongo tablet, and Ancient Wisdom, which had not shown up. What does the Ancient Wisdom even look I like? I needed the Rongo Rongo tablets, the Lost Ark, and the videotape of the creation of the universe. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We all needed the same stuff. So I could have swapped with you, yeah. but that would have put you in a very good position to, to win, which was why I didn't want to do it. <laughs> but it would have kept you from winning at least one more turn. Yeah. Did, did either of you have the patch for 1917 in hand? No, uh, no I had, well... I had 1962, which I never was going to get to play. I had uh, Mona Lisa, and I had a reverse Oh, paint. you had World War Three. Yes, I did. Nice. Okay, 1917 was pretty far in. I, I needed the patch for 1917, and okay. that would have been it for me. I because had, I had uh, Gunther. What's uh, your story, Gunther? Gunther needs 1917 and 1918 patched, so Wilson keeping the U.S. out of the war and the European economy booming. Um, Woodrow Wilson. Dude. Um, it's not a watch, it's a Timex. In my universe, Archduke Ferdinand survived. World War I never happened. Instead, Europe enjoyed a time of tremendous prosperity. In 1932, Einstein Industries Research Division began experimenting with time travel, and by 1996, anyone wealthy could buy a wristwatch-sized time machine. As far as I know, mine's the only one still in existence. Good on you. All right, so uh, my identity was... Rufus, all good dogs come home. I needed Warsaw to uh, hold the Olympic Games instead okay. of D-Day. And I needed Koresh's ministry to open in 1995 instead of the Oklahoma City bombing. Okay. Um, which means Waco compound had to be reversed. Yeah. Um, me and Rufus were hunting, and Rufus barked. I asked, what boy? Then I saw it, a shimmery curtain, the trees dancing behind it. The shimmering turned into a bright light, swallowing Rufus right up. I searched and searched, but never found him. Such a good dog. Smart, too. No, Lucille. I swear, I ain't drunk. It's kind of sad. So I'm time yeah. traveling not to get myself back, but to, but to get my dog. dog. It uh, disappeared into a time warp. Oh, uh, what was your mission as a scientist's thing? My mission was um, to... I guess, uh, like, with the, the talk. Oh. 
I'm not the time. I needed the text. Um, Rongo Rongo tablets. Oh, with time travel, the great mysteries of the universe can be unraveled. For a sensational live international TV broadcast, you've been sent back through time to find the answers to these questions. How did they build those stone heads on Easter Island? What's really inside the Lost Ark of the Covenant? And of course, the ultimate question, what really happened at the beginning of the universe? So, Articles of Faith, the Modern Religion, uh, excuse me. Modern religious institutes will pay top dollar for these key religious artifacts that only time travelers can receive. Crown of the Thorns, Ark of the Covenant, and Video of Creation. Uh, my uh, character was Mason. I needed President King to take office, so I needed nice. Nixon to be yep. flipped. Oklahoma Assembly bombing had to happen. So and, you were in opposition to me there. Yeah, yeah. and I needed uh, Columbine to be flipped. Because mm. uh, Ben guns are banned. Yep. Yes. That's, uh, uh, you have to flip John Lennon. Yeah. John Lennon's assassination is prevented, and then Senator Lennon uh, bans guns is the alternative for 1999. Yeah. That's cool. I love that one. I, I, I wish yeah. I lived in that universe. Yeah. So, so, oh, sorry. Oh, go on. Once I ran over, uh, once I ran over an old man, when Dr. Argus at the Time Center opened, I had to stop myself. Uh, I had to stop myself. Too late. I saw my own highlights coming in. Headlights. Uh, headlights coming at me. When I didn't return, Argus guessed what had happened and came back and told my younger self. I'm now traveling timelines, instituting licenses, uh, licensing systems to prevent it from happening again. <laughs> so I'm infinitely getting run over, I guess. Something well, and, like and trying to keep other people from, from getting, getting caught over. in a time loop where they, they kill themselves by hitting themselves with cars. Yeah. So I have a proposal yes. for us, which is that now that we've played a couple of competitive games, that we lay out eight time travelers and work as a trio to try and get them home. I'd be down. Sure. Cool. Let's go with that yeah. version. All right, all right that so does mean I need to strip all the out all stuff. the actions and stuff. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, well, that's while I do that, do you want to show off um oh yeah, yeah. so we had so, something that we were gonna oh you've got that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that that's for the end okay yeah the we do reveal. have something for the finale yes uh for those who can tune in to the end we do have a big surprise yeah, but stay tuned to the end of the feed because we have something super exciting for us to reveal all right so uh recently we've been doing uh board game nights here at the store yeah and during one particular one we had um a, rel uh, a representative of blue orange came yes and he presented three games and this is one of the three games. I don't know if it it's picks up very much on camera. I'll, I'll put it on uh, Zoom cam. So this is Tofu Kingdom. Yes. Uh, and the box is not actually a box. It's a little uh, pouch. Yes. So you unzip it. And it's not a huge game. We might even be able to play this. I don't know. Three players, you couldn't play it. No, it's you three to play eight. Oh, I okay. have not played it with three. But so yeah. this, is, this is the entire game. It's just a series of cards some chits and the instructions yep it's even got a storyline for theme which is fun the well, concept is yeah. uh, uh prince to uh prince uh oh got it prince mochi uh is coming to the kingdom to try to find uh princess tofu to marry her however the queen who has recently lost the king has fallen in love with prince mochi and wants her him to marry her instead so the pr the queen disguises prince uh, tofu, uh princess tofu uh, to look like basically all the girls in the kingdom, and the, t uh, the prince now has to find the princess, or else he will marry the first person he thinks is the princess in disguise. Uh, so basically, you are playing as uh, one player versus all players in the deduction game. Right. Uh, two players are your allies, uh, two who can only tell you the truth. Two players are uh, working with the queen, who wants her to be the one picked, so they can only ever lie. And then there are two whose thing is they can either lie or tell the truth. They just want the princess, uh, the prince, not to marry either the queen or the princess. So it's a little fun twist. So in three player, how does that work? We'll I have, have the rule in here, but I'll check that in a little bit. We but may play fun, that today. The really just as a quick bonus game. Uh, the fun thing is the prince can only ever ask through, uh, one of three questions to each person playing. Where is the princess? Who is she? And who are you? Those are the only three questions he can ask. Right, so you can't do the actual solution to the problem, which is if I ask that person yeah. who the princess yeah. is, who would they say? Exactly. And, uh, and then do the opposite of the opposite of what they say. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, I can just pull these rules out for a Adorable. second. Adorable. All side. right, Amanda. So who are we trying to get home? We're going to try and get Yuri, Oliver, Mojo, Betty, Rainbow, Dale, Timmy, and Herbert home. So let's uh, go through these. Yuri um, needs 1969. Okay. And 1991 to be flipped, okay. but he needs the Oklahoma City bombing to happen. Okay. Um, Oliver needs 1917 flipped, Okay. but still needs the stock market to crash, Okay. but then needs President King to take office in 74. Okay. Mojo needs the Great Depression to still happen, unfortunately. I love Mojo. But fairgoers should love German cake, yeah. and marijuana should be legalized. I had that in my hand for most of last game. So, super depressing, but munchies. Um, Betty needs A-bombs dropped on Japan, unfortunately. But then the Vietnam Peace Accord gets signed, and cosmonauts orbit the moon. Rainbow needs Israel to be founded in 1948, needs the Vietnam Peace Accord signed, and marijuana legalized. So Ooh, Rainbow nice. actually yeah, works really well. Those Which three work ready. pretty well together, which yeah. is really nice. Um, Dale needs the mild recession, so he's in direct opposition to Mojo here. Okay. Um, needs Israel founded, so works there with Rainbow. Um, and in 1991, needs communism to reinvent itself. Hmm. Timmy needs the European economy to boom, so that's in opposition to the Great Depression. Yep. Or no, it's not. It may be the same thing flips them. Uh, needs D-Day to happen, but also needs guns to be banned. Oh, I like that one. And Herbert. Herbert needs European economy to boom. Yep. The Titanic to explode. Okay. And Germany has to invade Poland for Herbert. So whose timelines at least match up somewhat? I mean, these they three. All, they're all, yeah, they're yeah all those three like, are, are. So that's the trick to the solitaire version of the game is you can only go through the deck once. Yeah. Mm. Although, now that we know about drawing a card when you hatch. Yeah, double check yes. that, that that's like, because it has, I don't know if it's got how to, pay, how to play solo knots. Um, remove and set aside all the artifacts, actions, time warp, and mission cards. Shuffle the patches and inverters together. Yep. Set up the timeline. Uh, then deal out eight random ID cards. Arrange them face up. Deal out five cards from the reduced play deck. And line them up under the characters or hold them in your hand. Choose one of your five cards and play it just as you would in a full game, except without drawing an extra card after using a patch. Okay. So we don't actually do that. For the purposes of the stream, Feel free to let's, discard any uh, patches you know you're not going to need. Let's line the five cards up here so that sure. our viewers can see them. Yes. Uh, do you need us to slide this down? or are we No, doing no, it's pretty good. I'm, the oh. only person who's not on screen is Yuri. Poor Yuri. Yeah. All right. So what are the cards that we have? So we have a Prevent Assassination. Okay. And a Reverse Fate. Okay, those oh, are handy. So oh, no. Ooh. I messed up the timeline. It's no, okay. Randy. It'll be fixed. Um, and I hate to say it, but we need all three of these patches. Oh, we have man. no easy way to discard. So we have the European Economy Booms. We have the Vietnam Peace Accord being signed, and we have communism reinventing itself. I don't want these to be mistaken for the okay. timeline, so I'm separating so them out a little bit. Good here call. is my thinking. Yeah. No one needs 1918 to be um, blue. Okay. Okay. No one needs it blue in yeah. here. And Archduke Ferdinand only flips 1918. Okay. All right. So, so that's an easy one to do, right? So okay. prevent that assassination. This goes into the discard pile. Do New we card. We uh, immediately patch because there's not. It's not turn based. So we okay. can immediately yeah. patch something. Does that so, mean he okay. draws an extra card? No. We, we so just well. established that in solo okay. play that does not happen, which is so why we European didn't know it. European economy booms. European Who economy does that is help? booming. That helps these two here. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So Timmy and Herbert are a little closer to getting home. What's our new card? Um, our new card is the Nuremberg Race Laws Repealed. Ooh, Much as that. I want that to happen, no one needs it to happen in these... Scenarios. Yeah, in yeah. this. So we have another assassination prevention, though. We do. But we, we're going to need more cards. This, we need and more the trick cards. is, if we don't need a patch, 
we got to get rid of it so we have more okay. cards. Okay, we've got to restore history. We don't want to use that yet. We'll probably yeah. need that later. Um, uh, all right, so um, Vietnam, Vietnam Peace Accords requires JFK to be not be assassinated, right? Yes. Right. Who needs Vietnam Peace Accords? Uh, these two. These two here? Yes. Yeah. And that's 1968. Does anyone need 1968 blue? I, I don't, don't think so. I think so. No. All right. No. Does anyone need 69 blue? I see 69 red, but I don't see okay. anyone who needs 69 Does anyone blue. need 74 blue? 74. Uh, no, but nope, she but needs he need. Okay, then let's uh, prevent JFK's assassination. All right, so JFK cool. is not assassinated. President John F. Kennedy is not assassinated. Instead, sorry. Um, doctors predict full recovery. Excellent. JFK injured in motor race shooting. Um, so here's the thing. I just drew Abraham Lincoln impeached, but I don't think anyone needs it. Uh, no, I don't think so. So I'm just going to ditch it. Okay. Um, Zeppelin factory open and sold. Anyone need, need that? Flip, right? Yeah, go ahead and flip. Oh, yeah, sorry. But it's only those two because this one also requires Lincoln yeah. up here. Um, so does anyone need a Zeppelin factory to open and soul? What's the year? I'm sorry. 1950. Uh, I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone needing 50. 50 at all. No. Either way. Okay. So Ditch. Ditch it. Marijuana legalized. We do need, that. We do we need, do that. need that. Okay, we're getting closer to being messed up here. All right, so, so the thing is, we now have everything we need for Rainbow to get home. Yes. Because we have the patches for both Rainbow. of her orange conditions. All right, so 1986 needs to be flipped. That's and 1968. And Ronald Reagan and. And. We need to basically reverse these two. Those two. Okay. Uh, All right, well, we have a reverse fate. So, so we can undo 1980 or 1981. So which one requires, this one requires guns to be banned, so possibly that would be the better option? Yeah, does anyone need Columbine? Does anyone no. need Columbine? Nope. Does anyone need the Soviet Union to collapse or the Challenger to explode? Uh, that no? is... No. no. All right, so I think... Cool, so we can mess with this bottom row fairly, fate. fairly heavily. So John Lennon survives. 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 What's it say on his card now? Um, so it says, Mystery Samaritan intervenes in street attack on, on Rockstar, yeah. then disappears into Central Park. I wonder who that mystery civilian was. Gee, yes, no I do wonder. clue. <laughs> no one could know. Um, Pass another card. Fairgoers love German cake. That I, means... That's a good card, yeah. All right, so... Um, so now we have what we need for Mojo to get home because we have Fairgoers and marijuana, and we're already doing marijuana for Rainbow. We're doing mar We're not doing marijuana. Um, um, so we're very, very close to losing this game without getting anybody home. We're going to have to get rid of a restore history. Yeah. And hope that this is... Cosmonauts orbit the moon. We need that. We lost. Oh, yeah. We have no way to. We have no patches that. Yeah, now. and we have all patches uh, that we need does to happen. Does anyone need the the Vietnam piece of? Wait, wait, wait. I thought somebody. Yes. Yeah, this guy yeah. needs it, so we should play that. Should yeah, we? play oh, it. Oh, yeah. Put okay. it down. So there. Okay. There we go. Yeah, there you go. There's one. There's one. Halt attack. Halt and attack. Uh, all right. So that can reverse the Lusitania, Pearl Harbor, or Waco. We need to reverse Waco, right? Uh, Do we need the Oklahoma City? We need the Oklahoma City bombing for Yuri. That to happen, yeah. But we can always undo it. Yeah. And to I get feel rid like of that somebody patch. needs 93 Prime. Uh, uh, no, maybe not. No one needs 95 Prime. All right, all right. So, halt attack. We can also do Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. And that would flip. 44 and But 44 is an it's... and. So A-bombs dropped on Japan, and we do need that for Betty. Yes. And we have everything we need to get her Betty. home. Yeah. Do we? Because we have the Vietnam Peace Accord oh, yeah. sign. We need the cosmonauts to orbit yeah. the moon in 1969. Right, so Andy, Andy. Yeah. 69. Patch 69. Oh. Cosmic Accord. Right. So that's Betty. A-bombs are dropped on Japan. The Vietnam Peace Accord is signed and cosmonauts orbit the moon. Yes. 
Does she get discarded or does she stay? She Betty home. went home. Yay! Hooray for Betty! So All right. Congratulations. So here's another card. To yep. so good. It's a reverse fate. fate. Fantastic. Very handy. Um, so 91 is still not flipped. 86 is still not flipped. We need right. legalized marijuana, right? Yeah, yeah, and we need the... Does anyone need the Soviet Union to collapse? No, uh, no one needs the Soviet Union so to collapse. So we, we can flip... If Reagan? we flip Reagan, mm -hmm. we get to do a couple of things. All right, so let's assassinate Ronald Reagan. Oh, my God. Uh, Reagan. President... No, we, we're... Yeah, President survived shooting only to die on the operating table. Oh, jeez. Um, so that flips the Challenger exploding. And that also flips. And the Soviet Union collapsing. So we can now patch 86 with marijuana legalized. Yep. And communism reinventing itself. Communism so, yeah. can reinvent itself. So, who gets so marijuana was legalized. The Vietnam Peace Accords were signed and Israel was founded. So Rainbow's home. Rainbow has gone. Oh, we should home. read the characters when they go. Oh, home. yeah. Read oh, yeah, Betty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Betty. Saving JFK. Having unraveled the conspiracy and with strong public support, the NTTA, the National Time Travel Administration, undertook the first major historical rewrite, preventing the Kennedy assassination. But although the second term JFK did avert the Vietnam War, without the martyrdom factor, there came a third major change. The first man on the moon was a cosmonaut. Okay. And Rainbow. I love Rainbow. Why didn't you look in your glove box? When Dr. Um, Anarambas vanished, Wendy inherited his time machine. It was installed in a black 1973 Volkswagen Beetle, selected as the car most likely to blend into any past or future setting. But Wendy didn't comprehend what she really owned. She sold it to a couple of hippies, and those two are seriously tripping now. Yeah. <laughs> I love these stories. Yeah. All um, right. What is so we get so three more cards, Amanda. Oh, yeah. Here, have that's two... And that's three. All right. And President is, King takes office. Somebody needs. So. Nobody needs the mild recession. Uh, the Great Depression is happening, right? Yeah. Great yeah. Depression. We need to. Fair, we need fairgoers to love ger to love German cake. We need to do that. Uh, so that's thirty nine. But that that is affected by Hitler, and that affects a lot. So we want to make sure that we're because some of these have like nineteen forties okay. stuff. Right. that we want to happen. Like, these two are in direct opposition with each other. Got it. Because they each need things flipped the opposite yeah. way from each other. So they're going to be our, our problem boys. Okay. Um, so. I feel like we need to go after Dale first with the mild recession and then Which unflip it for the Great Depression. Okay. Because Dale needs Israel to be founded. Yep. And communism, communism to reinvent itself, and we already have communism reinvented, and we have the mild recession in hand. All right, so, so the mild good. recession replaces the Great Depression. Right. So that's paradoxed if the Lusitania. Both of these. Okay. So I have the ability to reverse the Lusitania. Let's do it. Okay. So, so we'll halt the attack on the Lusitania. Yep. 1917. And 1933 doesn't do it yet. Right. 17 is something but we do get a does new card. also need. He needs this one patched. Right. Oliver. And yeah. no one needs it non... So here's... Darn Nazis it. win? No, we don't need that. We don't need that. Nope, it's gone. Reverse fate. Yay! All right. So, so which is the most effective fate to reverse right now to get the most people home? All right. So cosmonauts are currently orbiting... Oh, wait. Yuri goes home. Yay! Cosmonauts orbit the moon. Communism yep. reinvented itself. Yep. Cosmonauts, yep. communism. Oklahoma City bombing happened. Hey. Okay, what's your I was story? even named after Gagarin. Rather than tamper with our own nation's history, my first mission was to prevent the assassination of an American president in 1981. Ironically, this caused the collapse of the Soviet Union and erased the Kazakhstan chronodome from existence. So now I work for the time repair agency fixing paradoxes. I'll get a promotion after 10. Okay. So Yuri's home. So much. Let's yeah. just make sure that because your European economy booms, Which we haven't like, exploded yeah. the Titanic yet, but Germany is currently invading Poland. Yes. So we basically want to save Herbert. We don't. We don't want to flip Hitler until we've done a bunch of these ones that need it. Okay. This way. But we can sink the Titanic to get another character home. We can get him home with that, right? Is that on Israel where I'm founded? Home? We need the mild recession. We have it. 
So if we flip and this, communism reinvented itself, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's uh, let's screen? save the ti let's explode the Titanic. All right. So Titanic does not sink. It avoids the iceberg. Yep. So that flips that and that. Can I get a new card? Of course you can. You can. And President Wilson keeps the U.S. out of the war, which we need. The, st okay, so the we'll stock market crashed. Uh, so stock market has mild recession is mild recession. happening now. Oh, recession that stays now. there and just gets covered. So mild recession, Israel founded in communism and reinvents itself? Yes. Yes. Want to oh. read the story? Oh, I read Dale. Go. Me, myself, and I. Time travel is fun. Time travel is lucrative. The result? Incredible rivalry between fellow time travelers. My solution is simple. I've recruited assistants that I can trust implicitly, younger versions of myself. It was a great way for me to apprentice, and the extra help always keeps me a few steps ahead of my competition. Okay. Written by a man named Dale. That was one of the, uh, that's one of the nice. lost identities. We had three lost identities, Mojo and Herbert. Right. You so, can tell because so they have little writing credits next to them. We need to unflip this because of the stock market for that character, I believe. All right, so we've got an avert disaster. Okay. It only puts things into prime state. Well, we can unflip, like, is the Titanic one of them? Titanic. So it's already been comes, prevented. It's already been prevented. Yeah. Uh, Lusitania has already been prevented. Oh, uh, it only goes black to red. Hindenburg, Hindenburg can be flipped. So what would flipping the Hindenburg that. do? Flipping the Hindenburg flips 1950, which is soul captured by North Korea. No one needs that. So it's Primed. Like, no one needs it either way. Yeah, so I think we just get rid of this card. Yeah, I feel uh, like Let's look do. at what we have right now. We need Wilson, right? So oh, we can patch that. 1917. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we patch 1917, does we that get somebody home? We need to be flipped back. Yeah, we need that flipped back, but that puts us in a good... Uh -huh. And we need President King to take office. Yeah. So Oliver needs a couple of things done. Okay. Um, Titanic explodes, requires this to be patched. Yes. Yeah. What do you so have? let's get him home first. Yeah, yeah we have the 1929. Yeah. Do it. European economy booms. Yep. Yes. Titanic explodes. Yes. yes. Germany invades. Germany invades Poland. Poland. Yes. Yes. Herbert, Herbert goes, goes home. home. Okay, Herbert. Seeing is believing. When a fellow member of the Diogenes Club told Herbert he had actually built Herbert's fictional time machine, Herbert didn't believe it. Challenged to try it, he scoffed at first, but eventually relented. To his utter astonishment, he got a first-hand look at the shape of things to come. That's cool. Sweet. All right, so Herbert we're down is, to uh, H. G. Wells, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're down to Oliver, Mojo, and Timmy. Timmy. All right, so European economy boom. Here, have a card. Oh yes. Thank you. Uh, is happening. Right. Uh, D Day is, are is not happening, but we yet, haven't banned have guns because we don't have that patch. We don't have President King takes. Office. No, we have the patch for that. Yeah. But well, we just need uh, uh, President King takes office. We need to have Lincoln assassinated. So we need to we need to save Lincoln. Yeah. And we've already saved JFK. Yeah. Okay. So we've got to restore history in an avert disaster. Discard one of them, and we'll see what we get. Well, uh, do we want to reverse the Titanic exploding now? Sure. Right. Well, that, wait. We need uh, we need the great stock depression. market back. That's the thing. Yeah, the stock market needs to crash, but also like. That's 29 and 33. So the Titanic exploding, do we need that for anyone? Nope, we got uh, home. Let's check. Cool. Do we need the mild recession for anyone? Uh, nope. Nope. Sure don't. No. All right. So then I think we avert disaster and. Um, but isn't that the other oh, way no, around? It's the other way around. We yeah, restore history. history. Yeah, restore we history. Restore history to reverse that. The Titanic sinks, yep. which gets rid of the mild recession. Gets rid of the stock market, or gets rid of the... And send somebody home on his face. So... Stock market, U.S. and... Oh, no, we need President. Stock market crashes. Yeah, we, yeah, need, we need We President haven't found King. that card yet, so let's No, draw. we have President King. Oh, we, we just, just can't put it into yeah, place we have it until we need, prevent an we need to prevent the assassination. I'm dumping this right back, because okay. it's a restore okay. history, and that's annoying. I'm dumping an avert disaster, because we already have one. Prevent assassination. That's perfect. Good. Let's save Excellent. Lincoln. Excellent. Save Lincoln. That goes in here. Flip Nixon resigns, and we get President King takes office, and we send someone home. Oliver, Oliver gets to go home. U.S. Uh, Wilson kept the U.S. out of the war in 19. Oh no. No. Um, there we go. There we go. Patch that. 
Um, the stock market crashed, yep. and President King took office. How Shakespeare lived to be 653. <laughs> the time traveler swiped Shakespeare's still warm corpse, replacing it with a synthetic replica, and restored his health using 23rd century medical technology. Now write, he commanded. I'll produce your lost works and become rich beyond imagining. But the bard, bewildered by the future, had lost his touch. Mona and the dragon was a turkey. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Shakespeare's turkeys. Yeah. Uh, so now we can cause Hitler to die. Now we can kill Hitler. Well, but we, we get three more cards. Right. So we have a reverse fate. Reverse fate. We have World War Three. Three. And world peace. We don't need World War Three, and, and we, we do don't. not need world peace. We don't peace. need world peace, but let's hang on to it just in case. Uh, Warsaw hosts the Olympic Games. I don't think we need that. No. No. We have the funnel cake still. Yeah, we have. World Fairdoors love German cake. Yep. So if we can just kill Hitler and play the German cake. We send Mojo home. Right. Yeah. And Allied okay. troops invade Tokyo. We don't need that. We don't need that. Nope. Keep going. David Koresh's ministry opens a new hospital. We just need. Uh, guns, nope. I think. Nope. Guns banned. Oh yeah, okay. So all right, uh, let's ban guns. Okay. Yep. And is D-Day happening? D-Day is happening. Is the European economy booming? Yes. 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 Guns are banned. Yes. yes. Well, then it's time for Timmy to go home. Bye, Timmy. Bye, Timmy. Green submarine. <laughs> Music blared from the radio. Some of us live in a green submarine. Sang Tringo of the Beepers. The time traveler's father shook his head. Damn that kid in his time machine, he said, rising from his chair. How often have I told him not to muck with my music, Martha? Love that. Timmy gets to go home now. <laughs> All right, Timmy is home. So now it's time to try and send Mojo home. Here's a reverse fate. So right, Mojo so needs fair let's goers. Let's kill Hitler. Yeah, let's kill Hitler. Hitler died. Hitler is dead. And no one cried. And everything yes. is changed. No, that stays. Oh, this one is. E Day hasn't happened yet. Right. Yeah, because it we well, we uh, didn't do Pearl Harbor. And then just play Another this, card? and I think we win the game. Well, no, I, I want to do some he wants stuff world first. World peace. Oh, you want so, world peace? We always want world if, peace. If we reverse Pearl Harbor, does yeah. it prevent us from getting him home? No, because he the Great uh, Depression is what he needs blue, Depression's and that's fine. back here. Yeah. Okay. So nothing. This doesn't affect anything behind All right. it. Let's prevent Pearl, Pearl Harbor bombing. Okay. Swag points. So now, raid on Pearl Harbor called off by wait, Tokyo. Wait, wait. D Day happens. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. So D Day flips. Now let's play World Peace. World Peace. World Peace. Just cuz. And now let's play Fairgoers Love German Cake. Fairgoers Love German Cake. Yeah, and I think And we Mojo said we'll gets home. to go home. We won. Um, a matter of priorities. Mojo spent years searching for the Eternal Library, a collection of books containing every answer to every question. He found it, just inside the end of time. Skipping past works on enlightenment, the reason for being, and the nature of free will, Mojo returned home with a really great bread recipe. Man, this will be good. That's pretty cool. So guys, yes. let's look at how the world, what happened in the 20th century. Hold on, hold on. We have three more cards. Yeah. Okay. I just want to see if any of these are things that we could patch. Berlin, 68. No. Telling all y'all, sabotage. That's okay. It. All right. So just to, you know, because... This is about the most perfect timeline this is a great I think timeline. I have ever seen, aside yeah. from the Great Depression. Amanda, yeah. what happened in the 20th century right. in Mojo's so let's, world? Let's go through this. In Mojo's world, yeah. where bread is just... The best. The best. Um, Lincoln was wounded. He didn't get assassinated. Uh, John Wilkes Booth, like, just didn't didn't manage to, to pull it off. <laughs> Theatrical event marred by the attempt to kill the president. Now, apparently, nothing else happened after that. Like, yeah, 1968 is just weird. It's just a, it's just a year that uh, it, there's this vague sense of unease in yeah. in 1868. Now, the Titanic still sinks um, in 1912. It's just a mess, but. Archduke Ferdinand was unharmed in an attack. Injured bodyguard still missing. <laughs> um, the Lusitania arrived safely. There was no sinking of the Lusitania. Steamship escapes harm despite submarine blockade. Amazing, right? Um, 
Woodrow Wilson kept the U.S. out of World War One. Just like he said he would. That's yeah. What it says on the card. Yeah. He just didn't want to get involved because apparently that's what the U.S. does best. European economy booms. There's a downside to that. Yeah. Flu kills 19 million worldwide. Oh my which God. Is like. I mean, how many people died in World War One? Uh, a lot. A lot. Anyways, a lot. European economy um, boomed. Stock market crashed. Okay. Uh, we, you know, we weren't at war, lose but millions. Yeah. That really is. I mean, if the stock market crashed right now, it would be upsetting for anybody who depends on it for retirement. Yeah. But if Jeff Bezos lost like all but like one billion dollars of his fortune, it would not change his day to day life. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, the Great Depression still happened. Well, no, Lincoln. Yeah, oh, no, 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 we started. No. Sorry. Yeah. Great Depression. Um, the Great Depression still happened. FDR then launched the New Deal. Um, but then Hitler rose to power and was and assassinated. During the... Berlin Olympics marred by sniper attack on the hosting nation's leader. What a crime. Shocks. The Hindenburg um, still exploded. Yeah, the Hindenburg still exploded. But you know what? You know what's great? What makes that all okay? Fair course. Love uh, German cake. Love it. Absolutely Germany... love it. Because Germany was able to have a pavilion at the World Fair um, in 1939, which is awesome. Um, a raid on Pearl Harbor was called off on to by Tokyo, which is pretty awesome. You know, they were going to, and... Um, decided not to, but that also means that the U.S. was never drawn into World War II, which is okay because Hitler died. Yeah. So, yeah, so there probably was still a World War II down. Sort, It wasn't nearly as bad. Um, 1942 was also really a vague was. sense of unease. Yeah. Uh, the Manhattan Project, apparently, even though we stayed out of the war, we were still making nukes. nukes. Yep. Does that make sense? Secret government project sense. works to build atomic bombs. Yeah, good job, us. Uh, 44, again, vague sense of unease, maybe because we were building nukes. But then in 1945, it didn't matter that we had built some nukes. We declared world peace. Yay, world peace. Um, for once, for a little while, there is no war anywhere. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That'd be good. Wow. So 1945, this is 1945C. Because there's 1945 A and B. A and B, which are World War III. Allied troops invade Tokyo. World War II ends as Japan surrenders, which is playable only if Pearl Harbor happens. But the Manhattan Project doesn't um, and then we also have as a possibility the Nazis win oh right which we try to never happen oh, um, there actually I don't think are any um, time travelers that need it to happen it's one of those like I think there might be a condition somewhere in here to like install any patch yeah. on 1945 okay. so it's like if that's your only option you you go for it but okay. yeah um the nations of europe are united under a strong central government that happens if uh hitler is alive but japan does not invade pearl harbor so right. hitler survives and the u.s does not enter the war um there's no tipping factor which I think kind of um, overstates our involvement in, towards the end of World War II. Yeah. Um, but, you so know. So what happened after World Peace? Berlin hosts the World's Fair. Yay! We had World Peace and Berlin, you know, decided I mean, they let's... they had such good cake. They the, had this amazing uh, cake. York Everyone Fair. really wanted, you know, when they voted on who was going to host the next World's Fair, obviously it had to be Berlin because we want more of that goddamn cake. Yeah. Uh, six million tourists visit the Futuristic Expo. Uh, Seoul was still captured by North Korea. Apparently, world peace happened, but um, the Korean War started afterwards. Yeah. It for does say just time. for a little while, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Korean War begins after USA's occupation forces are withdrawn from South Korea. So apparently we had peace, but we were still occupying Korea, which, you know, yeah. whatever. Sputnik launched. So the Russians still launched Sputnik. Yep. 
you know, why not? Russians stun world by orbiting first satellite. Ooh. Cuban Missile Crisis still happens because we did build those nukes. Yep. And Sputnik was still launched. So I guess we were just holding on to them in case the world peace didn't work out. Yeah. Um, but then JFK was injured in a motorcade shooting. Doctors predict a full recovery. That's good. Because JFK survived, the Vietnam Peace Accord was signed. U.S. troops pulled out of war-torn nation. Um, we just didn't do that. But, you know, because JFK survived and we didn't have the same sort of, like, impetus. murdered yep. uh, president impetus, we didn't have that push. Cosmonauts orbit the moon. First man on the moon is a cosmonaut from Russia. However, only a few years later, President King takes office. Vice President Martin Luther King becomes the first black president following the impeachment of Nixon. Wow. Wow. <laughs> he was Nixon's vice president? Wow. Uh, John Lennon nearly killed. Mystery Samaritan intervenes in street attack on Rockstar, then disappears into Central Park. <laughs> Who was that mysterious uh, person? And shortly thereafter, Reagan was assassinated. The president survived shooting only to die on the operating table, which leads to marijuana getting legalized. President Mondale signs bill repealing prohibition after protest on shuttle launch pads staged by John Lennon. During all of this, the Russians are not idle. Communism is reinventing itself. The Soviet Union adopts numerous reforms while remaining fundamentally communistic. Okay. Unfortunately, the Waco compound still burns to yeah. the ground. Yeah. Just Oklahoma gross City mismanaging. The Oklahoma City bombing still happens. But um, then, but then in, in 1999, 1999, Senator Lenin, Senator Lenin's campaign to outlaw guns results in passage of Amendment 29. So there are some other amendments in there that uh, Kristen Looney has said. Yeah, I don't know what they are. I just figured there would have been some others. Yeah. Um, which repeals the Second Amendment. Guns have been banned. Well, so that is how the timeline ended up. So at we the have end of legal pot, no yep. guns. We had world peace for Briefly, a, maybe a brief, a year. shining couple of years. Yeah. Um, and we have that delicious German cake. I want some of that delicious German cake. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're gonna want it after all that pot. Exactly. I mean, you know it's like super chocolate. And we probably dense. have like a, an international holiday of the death of Adolf Hitler. I don't know about that, but sure. <laughs> the time we, travelers do. We probably have an yeah. international yeah. holiday. I, I mean, mean, he was assassinated in 1936, and he was already pretty bad then. Yeah. Like, the you know, war started in 39, Yeah. but mm. it's not like... He started things. doing his his thing no. then. That's just when uh, the world started protesting against it. Yep. Well, that was well. The world fantastic. he started invading yeah. the rest that of the world. We not only beat the uh, the solitaire, but we came yeah. up with about the most perfect timeline. We have line. a great timeline here. There yeah. were a couple of times though where I thought we were just blocked. I yeah. thought there was yeah. no way we could move forward. Thank God. It, we, uh, it, the trick was we had patches that we could put out almost every time that we yeah. thought we were blocked. We just hadn't put them out yet. We, yeah. we had flipped things and we were like, oh, wait a second. We well, can put that patch out. Man, I love this game. It's a really fun game. Thank it's you a very so much, game, Looney Labs, yes. for this really fantastic this. game. This is a lot of fun. I'm going to switch to full screen because okay. I don't think there's anything that we really need to display for your game? Oh, no, no, not really. Maybe some art? Yeah, Maybe I mean, I can show stuff off on, right. on stream. Right. But if you guys would help me by yeah. removing patches yeah. and handing them over to me. And then we'll put the timeline away. And then turning the timeline, the, timeline um, okay. the right way up. Oh, here so, are your... Yeah, those are the time travelers. Here are your identities. Thank you very much. Those IDs can go there. Here are all the patches. So, um, a few years back, the reason we're carrying chrononauts in a, uh, a card box is because um, the box that it came in was basically just a very form-fitting cardboard, like cardstock box that went around the cards of the main game. And um, a few years back, 
it disintegrated and I was keeping it in a like plastic deck box like one of those just right. like hard yeah. plastic deck boxes and I had it and gloom that's which right. our box for Gloom had also fallen apart because that's not the most sturdy of boxes. Gloom's a lot of fun. Gloom's a great, great game, game, but that box is not sturdy. The glue just came apart on one side, so the cards were sliding around. Yeah, it was bad. So we had put Gloom and Chrononauts each into just plastic, hard plastic deck boxes. And um, our cat enjoys drinking, or used to enjoy drinking out of the sink. She loved it. Um, it was leave weird. it alone, John. I'm gonna. Okay. Yeah, we're we're stacking. I'm trying to it keep just... it in order. Got it. Um, she loved drinking out of the sink, so we used to keep water in the sink all the time. We used to keep like a bowl of water in the sink so that she wasn't licking the faucet. Right, that's gross. Time off. And um, I was. We had come back from PAX, and I was unpacking, and I had. Chrononauts and Gloom in my hand. And I had them, I was holding the two deck boxes like this. And um, I also had our toiletries in my other hand. This is how this happened. Yeah. Toiletries in one hand, the two deck boxes in my other hand. And I had been unpacking in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, I'll drop the toiletries in the bathroom and the games in the living room. So I'm coming out of the bedroom, going to put the toiletries in the bathroom and the two deck boxes slide apart in my hands because those Spat hard plastic deck boxes just, and just went whoop. And Chrononauts went right in the bowl of water. So did Gloom, but Gloom's cards are plastic. Which is really good. Which is great. Chrononauts on the other hand went right in the water and I immediately went, oh my God. Grabbed it out of the sink and took it into the living room where I made use of my librarian skills, <laughs> unpacked all the cards out of the box, um, out of the deck box, laid them down on paper towels, mm -hmm. and then laid another layer of paper towels over that, and then put very heavy things on top of them okay. um, so that they would dry flat. Saves the cards. You cannot tell that this that game. I mean, would you have been able to tell that any of those no, cards were immersed said, in and water? we're still playing it unsleeved, because if yeah. we sleeved it up, we'd need a bigger box. Well, part of the other problem with that is the cards are a really non-standard size. Yeah. They're very slim, so we would need to find the right size. Anyways. Anyhow. I um, love Chrononauts so Chrononauts much. Was a lot of fun. Two I'm years ago, we, uh, we had Chrononauts so at uh, PAX East, and I had told Chase that I would sell us out of Chrononauts, and he didn't believe me. Oh. Yeah, he, he didn't believe me, um, which he should know better. And um, I indeed sold us out of Chrononauts. And we had like one copy left. And Matt, one of our uh, staff members, was at the um, register near where I was demoing and called over to me, hey Amanda, do we have any more Chrononauts left? And I said, the only copy I don't is know. mine. Yeah. I think there might be one copy like down at one of the other registers. Oh, thanks for the bits. You love my my shaggy dog stories, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I said, uh, yeah, I um, I think there's a copy down at like Amy's register, but maybe not. And he said, well, what about the demo copy? And I said, we can't sell the demo copy. He goes, no, we we can sell the demo copy. I said, no. It's my copy. <laughs> it's not even in a box. So it's not even last in the right year box. at PAX, we so. sold John's copy of Five Minute Dungeon right. on yes. the first day. Dungeon was my big thing. I was very happy with that. Yeah, but we you sold, sold it out so fast. We sold your personal copy. I know. Uh, what was it, Noon Time? That was a lot of fun. That was, yeah. yeah. It was, that was great. All right, so John. Yes. We're going to play, what is it called? Uh, Tofu Kingdom. Tofu, Tofu Kingdom. Kingdom. Uh, so. God, can I look at this? This it's is so cute. So I did find out the rules for the for the two-player game. Down. Okay. Uh, it's up cool. to three players minimum, I guess. Okay. Uh, so uh, there are three rolls in the middle of the table, and the youngest player plays the Tofu Prince the first round. That would be that you. That would be you. Yep. Okay. So then you two will decide one of these two, and one stays face down the entire round. Okay. Okay. Now, 
You both know what you are. You're either the tofu maid, the queen, or the princess. Okay. Yep. Now I'm going to close my eyes, and you must reveal each, to each other what your role is. Are you guys set? Yep. Hang on. I'm going to show t uh, the stream. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, zoop, zoop, zoom cam. All right. So, chat, this is my role. I am this character. Okay? And Amanda is this character. Can you see that? Okay. I want to make sure so that now, that's off, that the stream is off yeah, my yeah, screen yeah. before we tell John to open his eyes. All right. Okay. So now we know who Amanda is and we know who I am. Which also uh, means on. you hang know. Hang on, hang on. Oh, which also means you know who the face down okay. card is. All right, you're good. Yes, and we know who the okay. face down card is. So I'll take this. Okay. Not right. look at it. Yes. Yeah. Now, uh, the way it's going to work is I ask each of you one of my three possible questions. Where is Princess Tofu? Who are you? And who is she or he between any of you These or even are the face down? The questions okay. on the back of the card here. Then after so I do one see. question to each of you, I get to take one of questions. you two to ask a second question. Okay. After that is decided, I will decide who I pick to be my princess. Now before we continue. Yes. Who has to lie all the time? Uh, it actually it says the on corner. the back. You have an L on your character. You're okay. the queen. You will have to lie. Okay. If you are Princess Tofu, you have a T. That means you have to tell the truth. Okay. And if you it's have the question mark, you can do either or. Okay. Uh, basically, in a three-player game, your goal is to just basically have me pick you no matter what. Okay. okay. But I only want to pick the princess. Awesome. Okay. okay. So, to start off, Amanda. Yes. Who is Andrew? Andrew is the queen. Okay. Andrew. That was quick. Okay. Where is the princess? The princess is right in front of you. Okay. And Amanda. Yeah. Who are you? I'm the princess. Ooh. <laughs> I like these logic puzzles. So yeah, that's the fun of it. <laughs> You can never ask the obvious question to figure out yeah. the results, and yeah. it's like, they just leave enough vaguity that you could basically go with whatever. So, I asked Andy, where is the princess? Mm -hmm. I asked you who is the princess and what yep. Andy is. Oh. No, you asked me who I was. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, and I said I'm the princess. Uh, let me go with Amanda. Amanda, are you my princess? I am. Oh, I was the queen. Right, I should have princess. said Amanda is, was the princess. No, because you have to lie. You have I to have lie. to lie. You do I should have, have said I'm the princess. Yeah. Yes. Then, and then it would have been between the two of you. Yeah, right. then it would have been 50 50 because if, yeah. if Amanda was the queen, and I could said lie that and I'm say that he's the, the queen. queen. Yeah. And said that she's the princess. And then it and rotates. And I said that she's the princess. Yeah. You could have assumed I was the Tofu princess <laughs> and that she was the queen. And essentially, you would get a point, and I would get a point, and then it rotates to the next player, and then we put the three back in, and you go basically until, I think, nine rounds, roughly, in a normal wow. game. Whoever yeah. gets the most of these chips wins. That's adorable. That is adorable. I like this and twist. And a challenge. And, and for more players, there are more rules. There. Yeah. Uh, you have two more who assist, want the queen to win to be able to get their points. You have another character who wants the princess chosen, and you have another character who wants the uh, the uh, anyone other than the queen or the princess chosen. Uh, and what's really fun is everybody's got a little storybook uh, and a reason to exist in this world, which is a lot of fun. You want to switch and pick door number three? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is always an option. Uh, my is favorite, that your final answer? My favorite you could carry this with chat, probably. Oh, there's yeah. a delay. Good, yeah. There is. Uh, which would be a lot of fun. But yeah, there's uh, all, the rule, all the characters are right here. All their little backstories and their reason for doing what they do in the game. And the rules are very simplified and put in here. Uh, I just love the design of this. Yeah. This is probably my favorite part of it. So Tofu Kingdom from Blue Orange Games. Yes. Uh, Blue Orange is so adorable. I recommend adorable. it if you're not a big fan of Werewolf or anything like that that takes a little while to choose your thing. Because this one, it's one round and you're one player versus everyone else instead of everyone colluding on who could be who. Yeah. So it's one person's decision so that makes the final three thing. Three to eight players? Three to eight players. Nice. Which is a lot of fun. We played it on uh, Thursday and I believe I will be bringing this next Thursday. So if anyone's available and wants to stop by, 
Feel free. Yeah. And we can Come on into the Abington yeah. location for Tofu Princess. Tofu Princess. Oh. Yeah. Thank Prince you, John. Mochi. No problem. Traveled far from Mochi Kingdom to Tofu Kingdom, where he met Princess Tofu, who had snuck out of the palace to explore. The two became traveling companions and fell in love. After returning to his kingdom and reporting to his father, the king of Mochi Kingdom, Prince Mochi, Mochi has made another trip to Tofu Kingdom to propose to the princess. Princess Tofu is Silken Tofu. She grew up without her mother as she had died during delivery. Delivery of Tofu. Her father, King Tofu, indulged her to no end during her childhood. However, he remarried when she was 12 years old and then suspiciously died of poisoning shortly thereafter. How do you poison Tofu? Her stepmother rose to the throne and became the present Queen Tofu. With her new power, the queen began to mistreat Princess Tofu, prompting her frequent escapes, uh, escapades outside of the palace. Mm -hmm. A Tofu chef. Crispy Tofu. <laughs> Used to be Princess They're Tofu's awesome. playmate when they were little, and he treats the princess as if she were his own sister. His mother was the former royal chef who was accused of poisoning King Tofu, and the entire family was thrown in jail as a result. It was Princess Tofu who testified that she caught the former royal chef sneaking a taste of the king's meal prior to the incident, and thus the chef could not have been the one who poisoned the king. The princess's testimony saved Tofu Chef's entire family, so he is indebted to her. The king's death by poison has remained a mystery ever since. Gee, I wonder who's responsible. <laughs> um, those against the marriage are, let's see. A pudding spy? It's such a complex story. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, those against it are Queen Tofu, Okay, we've got who is tofu, fried tofu, described. has lived an obscenely extravagant lifestyle since her ascension to the throne. She fell helplessly in love with the handsome Prince Moshi the first time she saw him and has been plotting to steal him away from her stepdaughter ever since. This is why she has issued a decree that Prince Mochi must without making any physical contact, guess who the real Princess Tofu is from a group of veiled women. She has also declared that he must marry the woman he chooses, regardless of whether she is the princess or not. Sneakily, she has placed herself in the line of women, hoping that he is tricked and will choose her. <laughs> uh, tofu Minister Spongy Tofu was the Queen Tofu's accomplice in the poisoning and murder of the gang. Aha! Well, there you Gee, go. what a shock. He was also the brains behind the scheme to make Prince Mochi pick out the princess from a line of veiled women. He has been secretly smuggling puddings made from industrial chemicals from <laughs> Pudding Kingdom from it for his own personal gain. Yeah. Dang, dude. I think he is. He's uh, my next Tofu uh, Guard. The Guard is my favorite. Tofu Guard is firm tofu, because of course he is. He has a mustache. He was Queen Tofu's lover before she married the king. He is still deeply in love with her and would do anything the queen asks of him. All right, so these are now the ones who want the prince to marry neither the princess nor the queen. Uh, the Pudding Spy. Actually, the princess of Pudding Kingdom. The three kingdoms, Pudding, Mochi, and Tofu, maintained a friendly relationship before the death of King Tofu. However, after Queen Tofu took over the throne, she not only started incessant invasions of Pudding Kingdom, but also accused Pudding Kingdom of poisoning and killing King Tofu. In order to spy on the truth behind King Tofu's death, Princess Pudding decided to disguise herself as a man and travel to Tofu Kingdom. By chance, she came upon Prince Mochi and his entourage on their way to ask the princess for her hand in marriage. She realized it would be terrible for her kingdom if Tofu Kingdom and Mochi Kingdom were to form an alliance and decided to sabotage any potential unions. And finally, Tofu Maid Egg Tofu grew up with Princess Tofu, who treated her like a baby sister. She covers for the princess during her escapades by dressing up as the princess to fool the guards. She met and fell in love with the spy from Pudding Kingdom at court and would do anything to make the pudding <laughs> spy happy. <laughs> so Shakespearean. It's very cool. So Tofu Kingdom, folks. This is adorable. This is definitely a game that could be good on, uh, what is it, 24-hour? Oh, yeah. That would yeah. be a 24-hour marathon game. Yeah. 
24 hour marathon, by the way, is happening in November. Okay. Uh, we it's, have dates for it, and it's it, like the first weekend in November. Yeah, it's during ex it's during uh, daylight savings time again. Yeah. So it's 25, yeah. Hours. 25 hours. And if you check out the links below, one of those links is to our fundraising page, the Battleground fundraising page. Okay. You can donate to one of uh, the various ones of us who are collecting money for it, which right now is me and uh, Sam Fox. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, November 3rd is uh, when it starts, it looks like, which is... Three months from today, four months from today. Yeah, it's a Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's coming. We're going to play games. We're going to make waffles. It's going to be great. It's yeah. Gonna be a guess. This is going to be Waffle time. a challenge for me because I'm not drinking caffeinated beverages anymore. Right. So, who knows how long you know, I'll last. Um, chocolate and tea both have caffeine but aren't as strong yeah. as coffee so some cocoa or some tea might be in order like cocoa would put me right to sleep yeah Hot cocoa? <laughs> oh. anyways we have one more thing that we wanted to do today yeah. before we end we our stream i love wireless mics yeah isn't yeah. this nice john what have you got in this gigantic box well andy what's in the box what could possibly be in this box that we may have brought up on stream a few times before? Well, we definitely played it on stream before. Yes. So yes. Uh, we played uh, an, an earlier variant of this on stream before. So uh, back in 2015? No, no, no. A while after back. that. After that. Uh, Shortly after Kickstarter started. So back in 2016. Yeah. I need to catch this side because I can see it. Greater Than Games had developed, uh, who are behind, obviously, uh, uh, Spirit Island had made another successful game that we had played before called Sentinels of the Multiverse, which is a very thematic, cooperative game. Where Greater Than Games are also the people behind uh, Laser Riders. Yeah, they are. We yeah. played on stream. We loved Laser Riders. Laser so. Riders is, uh, uh, the 80s is real. Uh, so that was the beginning of our 80s, 80s month. Yeah. Uh, however, they had realized that their universe was going to be coming to an end soon, meaning they were getting ready for the end of everything. And they decided to make their final expansion an event called Oblivion. There you go, Andy. Uh, so I backed the final Kickstarter since I pretty much grabbed everything I could way back when. So I got a bunch of promotional material, some new heroes. Yeah. Some new giant variant cards. Some more complete collection variants. Cardboard. Sorry about that. I don't think that was a problem. And uh, oh is god, the big box. Uh, uh, there we go. This. Oh god, it feels. I think it's. That's not metal, is it? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> is it a tin? Uh, no, hang on. Oh, God. Can you I can get a hand? I believe in yep. you. Ah, this thing. Ah. The oh. vault. The vault. Oh, God. So, for those who don't know, there are a ton of expansions for this game. So many. That they made this custom box. So now I can fit everything in one big box. Oh my god. And goodness. it is a very big box. Oh, it's god. a foot locker. Yeah. Oh, I have no idea how this opens. I didn't watch the video. Oh, uh, there we go. It has a little, it's upside down. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, flip this over. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, oh, oh, show the, the, the top. Sentinels, of the, Sentinels of the Multiverse. It's so pretty. I do owe a bit to Sentinels. It was one of my first big games I got into. I haven't played it in forever, though. Okay. Look at this, guys. Wow. I don't know if it's showing very well, but... No, I think they can see it. Yeah. Oh. Actually, there let, me, we go. let me give you some more we light. We have dividers there we and go. everything provided inside. Oh, my God. It just, keep, it just keeps coming out. There we go. So we have drawers with dividers and foam blocks to sort of bulk everything up. I'm very grateful for all this protection. Yeah. I feel like I ordered this same set. 
Yes. So how come I don't have this giant box of stuff? I don't know. When did it come? When today. Did it, oh, this came well, today. it may I be could have sitting this at waiting home. for me on my desk. I think this doorstep. is magnetically sealed. Yes. Like my Would you forget again? it already? I already tried it's it. Magnetically, it's magnetically sealed. sealed. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, ages and ages oh, ago, you know I got the foil altars. What's up? Which was one of the Kickstarter oh. backer things. This is a nice thing. This box is gorgeous. And oh. now, yeah. I actually don't own any sentinel sets so wait, now i have to you... buy them all to put them in the box wait wait why did you get the box because <laughs> he wants to own all of them yeah. <laughs> okay. he yeah, just didn't have a good way to to hold on to them but oh. now he'll have the box yep oh. wow wow God, that's fantastic fantastic so, john so the storyline will end and this will be played on thursday and i'm bringing foddy by again for thursday board game night if anyone's interested in playing Oblivion, come by this Thursday, 6 o'clock to 10. And we shall see if we can save the multiverse for one final time. Wow. -da -da. Let's see if I can fit all these in here. I'm fairly certain it should be. I mean, obviously, they're all going to fit in there. I mean, like, it's without that this is them wide, yeah. so. Well, let's see. You can so. make it work. So, for next week. Yeah. A week from today, yes, uh, we're going to continue our time travel theme. Time travel month. Time travel oh, month. Okay, so these are uh, nice. John, you have a time travel game. I do, which is an underrated gem in my opinion. What is your time travel game? Escape, one hundred million years BC. So I'm into world. it. Yeah. yeah. Save the cheerleader, save the world. Yeah. I loved heroes. I really did. Wow is Original definitely heroes. the word. Yeah. yeah. Original heroes was good. I never saw the uh, re reboot series. It was a little weird. Was it better than yeah. at least season four's finale? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's all I can ask. Marginally. All right, you can't fit everything in there unless I cannot, you open Unless I cut off. those open. But yeah. I'm not going to do that. Do you want to hang on to this? Yes. All right. So, Escape, 1 million years BC. Will be our next game. Will be our game next Friday. So we hope to see you there. Yes. Between now and then, Amanda will probably be doing some painting tomorrow. Yeah. So I hope you'll tune in for that. John, you're uh, out of shot if you want to sit down oh, oh, so people sorry. can see your um, pet. But then we won't be able to see anything from John because this box will be obscuring the action. Yeah. Um, I have rather yeah, large I'm arms. Likely Look at how... going to be streaming from our back room. Yeah, oh, so you'll get to see the, the back room while well, parts um, of it anyways. Because the loft is reserved for another event, so yeah. a non-stream event. Um, so we're going to take some of the streaming stuff downstairs. Because if it's just me painting, we don't need, like, the whole oh, cabinet. Oh, yeah. yeah, we don't need the overhead camera. Yeah. We don't need we the lights. We just need a camera and the dock cam and mics. That's yeah. basically it. Um, and so yeah, thing. Amanda will be painting some more Starship Samurai tomorrow we'll be on stream. Working on that. Um, I'm hoping Friday, to finish up uh, Motitata. We'll be playing uh, Escape One Million, One million Years BC. Uh, cool. I'm excited. I want to be able to show this off to more people, so I'm yeah. hoping that it gets a little more traction. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Well. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Yeah. Yep. I feel that was an extraordinary amount of fun. That was really I good. I love yeah. Chrononauts. So you liked Chrononauts? I like Chrononauts. Tofu it's Kingdom fun. was very cool. It's always different depending on who you have out at the same time when you're yeah. playing the solitaire game. Yeah. Because, like, we lucked it's out yours, that yeah. we were actually able to do it. I have had so many games where it's like, nope, that one person's just not getting home. Yeah. Yeah. There's just no way to do it without cheating. Alright, so that was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Woo! Thank you for all the bits. Box. I hope you guys have a great Thank you for night. joining us. Yeah. Have a wonderful evening and we'll see you again soon. Later. Bye everybody. Bye.